Q. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. Everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. Boy, shot shot versus a body podcast episode 167. You know what it is, man. We got another guest, man. We got dad, goddamn husband, podcast host, a marijuana expert, and motherfucker everyday smoker, man. We got dang dad in the building, man. What's, What's good bro? with you, bro? What's up, world? Hey, man, finally made it happen, dog. It's been a long time coming for sure, for sure. Man, I think we what I think I probably got hip to you. Through the, uh, through the homie Sherelle. Yep. Off yep. Of, uh, what, she got the uh, Let's, Let's, Let's Talk. Talk podcast. It's not a podcast, yeah, though. Yeah, I said, yeah, she gonna get mad, though. She gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Hell yeah. But, but yeah, she, uh, she, she kind of got me, like, on the podcast tip. And then she, like I was telling you before we even started recording, she, um... She like shot me your page and whatnot, and I just, I fucked with it. For sure, so. for sure. Now, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the fact that you didn't delete me as a, as a, um, as a friend on that motherfucker. Because usually, when niggas reach out and then we don't connect off rip, Niggas be like, oh, he don't fuck shit. Bro, life be life. Nigga, like you said, dad, husband, all that yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, bro, I got shit to do. Duh. And then this is this is fun for me, but it still work. Yeah. But like, nigga, time's got to line up. You feel me? So it, it just finally came to fruition. Like, you got a show. Do you ever use the show to get away from your family? <laughs> Every episode. Hell yeah. Nigga, I don't record in my house no more. Like, yeah. I, used to, I used to do it in the basement type sure. shit. And I'm like. I got a I got a co-host now. Yeah. He got he's a single man, no kids. I'm like, I'm gonna just skate over there for, for sure. a couple hours and for sure. you know, for give sure. some give some freedom. But. Talk about how, how important it is though, like time away from your family. Like, of course, you're a family man, you love the wife, you love the kids, but nigga, that shit I mean, is healthy gotta, to be able to, to yourself. You gotta have a sense of self. Like you gotta know who you are, regardless in any type of relationship, marriage, business. Like if you don't have your identity, mm-hmm. then who really are you? Like you just going through the motions, going like I love them niggas. I <laughs> kill, I kill somebody for them, I die for them, but I need to be able to breathe every now and then. For sure, and I'm pretty yeah. sure the wife would say the same deal. Like she want to go get her nails done and go get a mimosa or something. Hell yeah. So it's yeah. it's cool that I can get away and still make a little money, still yeah. do some shit, but. It's definitely needed. No, for sure, for sure. You need that shit because without that time, nigga, you gonna go crazy. Y'all niggas gonna argue like, bro, that shit over stupid shit, bro. That shit is important, bro. But we start every uh episode with a salute me while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we wait for niggas to die before we buy. Right. Oh, we love him or her and shit. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it can't be the easy answer. It can't be your kids. It can't be your wife. It can't be your parents. For sure, it gotta be somebody out that easy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody answer. everybody know. Mm-hmm. That, um, I mean, shit, I, I kind of took this little snippet from you too for on sure. my show, giving out flowers. Um, it's okay, I'll give you that for free. This, this <laughs> week, I just feel it's dope, bro, because people need to do it for real. Um, damn, you hit me on on the spot early. <laughs> shit, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Calvin Johnson. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, Detroit what's up? legend. Yeah. Receiver. Um, it might be a little odd, but the way bro kind of went about it, like putting himself out there for cannabis mm-hmm. and showing it's more than just getting blown. Oh, no, for sure. Party, Hell like, yeah. That's a fact. For medicinal purposes. And like he put his name behind that shit. Mm-hmm. He retired early. He went into business to kind of put cannabis out in the forefront. So I feel like that's kind of dope. It's yeah. a couple other celebrities that like really do it for the for the flower yeah. and not for the clout for the money but for sure. he's the first one to come no that's a fact yeah because he was talking about that shit damn was he on um on um all the smoke podcast thing you're talking about on that shit dog mm-hmm. hell yeah but he was talking about how like see he is i don't think he started getting blow it's like the end of his career right like yeah, he started he smoking was like, and it was he helping him with his he couldn't get up after yeah. sunday he like if i didn't have a joint or like do something before i got out of bed it was it was rough going hell yeah type deal. so him uh rob sams uh another former detroit lion they okay kinda, they got together and started primitive so yeah shout out to them hell yeah man shout out to you i'll I, I be one to find people to salute man <laughs> but it just be like I, I, I already ran out of people dog i mean 160 plus yeah, yeah. I, I ran out of motherfuckers man tell these niggas to stay consistent so you can mm. shout them out i'm a salute hey. i'm a salute life this life, life bro. life jennings no oh, oh okay <laughs> I, I it's only life I know. <laughs> no, living life. I think I say life Jennings. <laughs> I ain't heard that name in a minute. That's... No, I'm a salute life, man. Just cause man, niggas been dying like a mud left and right, dog. You going crime in the D, you going all these little Detroit outlets and shit, and seeing everybody, you know, say every day passing away, dog. Yeah. And then I just seen the uh, the untimely death of um a Gilly son. He got shot yesterday. And I know his birthday My supposed to be in the month. Yeah. So yeah. This little life, bro, because like, man, I was on another podcast. You just never know when your time is up. So 
you gotta be careful. You gotta be a is a blessing to make it back home. You know, be what I'm saying? smart, man. Because shit, like you seen them stupid ass car accidents, drag <laughs> racing, not blocking off the street. Yeah, like man. you never know because just some bullshit can happen. So yeah, For live sure. life and cherish that shit. Do you ever sit back and just think about like you know what I'm saying about about your life and you having kids and you being a father like. And just like you know, saying what's going on, you ever think about like, nigga, I gotta be here for you, for for my family. Yeah, bro. I mean, kind of just give us some context. I never imagined life with kids. Like we, me and my wife, not my wife, we've been together about twelve years. But okay, been married, going on three. Yeah. So together for a minute, but we never really. She's like, yeah, she know I fuck with kids, but like I <laughs> want kids. Yeah, for sure. Like kids, cool. It's it's really cool to be able to get them niggas back yeah. when they need to go home. But yeah. like, I just. I fuck with them. I know I got to do good out here. I can't be moving like a dummy in the streets because I always told her, like, I'm going to make it back home. For sure. Every night. Got like, you. Like, that's my one promise. Like, I'm going to make it to the crib. So yeah. I got to keep that to her, to them. And it's just, it's a special feeling. Like, yeah, that shit hard, but yeah. ain't nothing that, anything that come easy ain't worth it. No, so for if sure. you don't got to work for your family and work for your kids and shit, is Hell it really, yeah. you know, Man. are you really Hell doing yeah. it? Hell yeah, dog. Because then yeah, I'm like, because I used to love going out. And just hanging out, bro. Like going to the clubs and shit. I ain't became an old ass man and shit. But like I just love doing that shit. But now I love coming home back to the kids. You man, feel me? Like, you get that hug. That yeah. what's up, dad? No, like my, my daughter be jumping up and down some. I'm like, oh shit, my other son don't give a fuck about me. Like, he old nigga. <laughs> nigga, what up, dog? The older they get, it's like it's just a nod. Yeah. Like, that's cool enough for that's me. That's it. But you gonna see because you, you say your son's seven. Yep. Wait till he turn about 14, 15. Like y'all still have a good relationship, but some days he ain't gonna fuck, you know, wanna be bothered with your mm-hmm. ass, like. Like I, I know myself now. My wife checked me, dog. I just opened my son's door. So you know I think it's sixteen. Like you gotta start knocking. Like that boy, no, not like he, he could be in that boy yanking, doing anything. You just <laughs> invade his whole privacy. Cause one day that nigga was Winnie and Pooh in the room. I don't know if y'all know Winnie Pooh is. Then you know that nigga had a t-shirt on, no drawers. So I'm like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so one day I go to grab his his cover. And he like, hold on, hold on. I'm like, nigga, are you naked? <laughs> Yeah, Dad, I was trying something out. I'm seeing if I like it. And that's why I got the whole Winnie and Pooh turn from, though. I'm like, this you nigga. Gotta, you got to let him, give him a space to be himself, For find sure. himself and shit. So now like, I, I got to give him some respect and knock on the door, dog. Just but shit, my seven-year-old, he was, he turned seven Monday. So yeah. he was like, yeah, Dad, I just want to be house people today. I really need some me time. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you don't have the right to ask for me time. Nigga, like, we paid for sports camp. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, gotta, you don't get an off day. But mm-hmm. he, he got that shit. So... <laughs> You told shit to tell you, you just giving away, like, all right, go ahead, dog. You what talk the fuck? most shit to your kids and still cave in every time, bro. Hell yeah, it ain't got hot in this motherfucker a little bit. You need paper towel, good? No, I'm straight. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I used to be like chunky, so yeah. I'm, I'm good with sweating. I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm used to it, bro. Hey, shout out to my producer, dog. This nigga go everywhere with a sweat rag, dog. You got to. Hey, get you a dank dad sweat rag, bro. I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> hell yeah, dog. That shit plays hell, dog. For hey, sure. but. You gotta make sure you like sweating in the wrong spot though. Like when you sweating in the wrong area, like damn, I'm I'm here. You gotta have it right. That's why you gotta have all motherfucking like black. 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 Shout out to uh no, oh, what's my dog name, dog? Damn, I don't have a brain fart. He was on the show. This mm. nigga was sweating from here to here. Yeah. Like <laughs> I can't think of five. He did like this because he won. I dap it up if I'm too clammy, bro. I'd be like, all right, bro. Like it ain't you, it's me. <laughs> oh shit, dog. That's funny as hell, dog. But no, it's Man, half the year is gone. Shit, more than half. We, if you want to tell more than half, that shit flew by too. Man, how your year been going? And what were some goals going into the year that you was trying to, you know, saying uptime? Um, that was a good word, uptime. Uptime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been. I mean, I really been focusing on like dank dad. I guess mm-hmm. people recently called me an influencer. For sure, you are. Is, which is that is that was not why I went into it. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's cool that people kind of look to me for words of encouragement and just life shit. But. Mm-hmm. I want to kind of give back to the community more. Mm-hmm. And I've been trying to curate some events. I got like my first one coming up. Okay. So that should be dope. Like a little back to school drive for the yeah. kids. For sure. That'd be dope. Yeah. It's dope. To, you know, kids. Thank that. Might as well. <laughs> um, And then just networking more. Like getting mm-hmm. out there, understanding. Because I work in cannabis. For so sure. I'm trying to. It's a new industry. Like niggas ain't been 10 years in the game yeah. in legal cannabis. So I'm trying to navigate that as a black man. Like just working my way up making sure. the right relationships meeting yeah, the right yeah. folks and shit yeah. um but it's been it's been a good year i mean the kids growing mm-hmm. baby girl turned one yeah, yeah, yeah i i sound like an old man like a sap like, yeah, yeah. I ain't even, yeah, you no. when you told me your age i was a little hurt dog like damn 
I miss being there. I wish I could go back to that shit. I I don't, say, don't I'm about to be wrong. 30. I'm about to be 30. Yeah, this is the last shit, couple weeks. <laughs> oh, 29, shit. so. Oh, yeah, shit. Happy early ride. birthday, dog. Appreciate when it. When you bro. get them 30, that's when you're going to start having to stretch before you do anything. Like, not even play basketball. Like, you stretch before you go about your day. All this year, my body been telling me, yeah, niggas, it's, it's coming to an end. Bro. In prime years. Bro. I wake up, be like, elbow, be a. A Hell pop yeah. or some shit. I'm like, all right. Nigga, my heel been hurting for four months, dog. Ain't even hit it. Nothing. <laughs> no. it just, just woke up like, ah. Bro, I so I got, I, I coach or whatever. I coach basketball. Oh, for real? So, yeah. Me so too. I, I still, what you coach at? I coach at Dove Elementary. Oh, for real? Seventh, eighth graders. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I coach at uh, um, Warren Academy. Hey, mom? Yep. We beat y'all last year. Well, yo, yo, that, that's the boy saying. Uh, I coach the girls. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. Hell yeah. My <laughs> girls team, we went to the final four, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shit, no, also, right. gee, we got a lot of shit coming. We dance, husbands, mother coaches, and bitch, dog. That's lit. Vic, That's I got lit. seven, eighth grade girls. I would have did the boys, but my son played high school ball. So okay. I, I didn't want it to interfere with the schedule. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, once he, once he graduate, then I'll go ahead and think about high school or think about, you know, boys. I used to coach uh, the girls' season, and then I used to go to coach the boys' season. But then once he got high school, I had to sacrifice and say too much, bro. Yeah, shit, back and forth, gas. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just want to be at his games. Cause I feel like shit. Like once he he got two more years left, you know, what I'm saying once he, he done, he'd be over. He who? Yep, he okay, who? Sure. Hey, he pretty, he pretty straight. Only thing about him, I be getting mad with him is uh, I don't know if that's just new niggas now, dog. Like I'm gonna call young niggas new niggas. But <laughs> no, I know exactly what you mean. I don't mean. know if they got like that. The new breed, that toughness. They too cool. Yeah, they yeah. I want to be Jason Tatum. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. It ain't no Draymond. No, nah. like I'm, I ain't seen a nigga like Russell Westbrook come up. <laughs> yeah, sure. Stu Henderson might be the new, might, yep. might be the new Russell. No, nah, for shit, sure. But like they don't have that grit. Yeah, like when you get your ass beat, you gotta take that shit personal. Like me when I was hooping, bro, and like say it was somebody on the team that the coach might have felt was better. Every day, my whole goal was to go ahead and attack this nigga every time. We and play. not on some shiesty shit, but like beat him mm-hmm. in in ball and hooping, like and drills, play, everything. I'll play him, yeah. earn your spot type shit, and they feel like it's. They already earned it because they got a little jumper. <laughs> yeah, for sure. right, you feel me? Can you even play D for real? Yeah. Like you show me a little nigga that can play D. I don't care if he can't make a ten. For sure, that nigga gonna, gonna be out there. Forty eight. Hell bro. yeah, because he, he hooping. Bro, that shit is important. The little things, dog. It'd be a little things, and like if it's, if if niggas understood that, then t- like shit would be way more. You know, what I'm saying interesting as far as watching. I watch these games. I'm like, dog. I don't see one box out. I don't see shit. Like I just see not like a real close out. Bro, I just see three pointers and five niggas standing around the three point one. But that's <laughs> that's the way they wanted it to go. You yeah. can't touch nobody, no hand checking. Yep. You if you foul somebody a little too hard, you're probably gonna get kicked out yeah, that bitch. For sure, hell yeah. But I remember Rasheed Wallace and Ben, like you ain't coming to the paint, hell bro. No. We got six fouls. For sure. We're gonna use four and bitch for the yeah. first three. No, for <laughs> sure. Knocking your ass down, bro. This is a different different era. So I, did you used to when you uh was going to UD? Um damn. Nigga, research. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, hey, what you number sixteen on football team? I was number so you would be. I went there my freshman year. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I hooped and the grades was so terrible. Oh shit, nigga, nigga couldn't touch the football field. Damn. So it was it was rough. Then I transferred to Mumford, so I graduated from okay. Mumford. But, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not not uh, but uh I, but you would be, That was all boys school, right? Oh, but like, how was it that first that first year? Would you come? Would did you want to go there? Would you would you mad? No, was... I didn't want to go there. So, bro, I, I, <laughs> I, I didn't want to go there. Mama told me eighth grade. She's like, yeah, you're going to U of D Jesuit. I was like, who? I was <laughs> like, mom, I'm going to Renaissance. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, she's like, nah, go take this test. Failed that bitch on purpose. <laughs> she like, you're going to take it again. I'm like, yeah. all right, bet. Took it, whatever. It was low key straight yeah. because shirt and tie every day, whatever. Like you got some grown man shit. Cool. Yeah, hell yeah. I wasn't with the whole going to church like every two days in school. It was okay. Catholic school. Yeah. But we had like four sister schools. Yeah. All girls schools. Okay. So we had like these dances, these parties. Yeah. Us and just four school <laughs> bitches. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm like, it's cool. I like it. I like it. But then that shit got expensive. And yeah. she was like, you can't go there. <laughs> hell yeah, we like, are. I told you I shouldn't <laughs> went there in the first place. Yeah, I tried to fuck um, this motherfucker. <laughs> Trying to save you, my shit. So. The, now, who was it? Cause I remember because you you were same age as my uh my little bro. He uh he just turned thirty, and I remember um they had played them, and it wasn't. Didn't y'all have like a, a a big man who went to Michigan? Jordan Morgan. Yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah, he was there the same time I was there. Yeah, bro, was, yeah. bro was straight, even big as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember him. Dog. We had a bunch of athletes like at that time. It was all a little bit older than me, like For Devin sure. Devin Gardner. I think he went to Michigan yep, too. Yep, 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 yep. Jordan Morgan, and then um. 
Young Dog Cassius. Yep, yep, Cassius Winston. Yep, 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 yep Cassius yeah, Winston. He, was, he got there like when I was graduating high school type shit, but I still go because my brothers went there yeah. and whatnot. So bro, I was supposed to uh when I first moved back to the from um back to Detroit when I left uh Texas, whatever. I mean, I was supposed to get a security job there, though. I feel like like this is the weakest shit ever, dog. Like, I'm like, these niggas gonna hold me because I'm already they hiding shit. Like, nah. I get you, like, I, I, I'm like, damn, I'm about to break up a fight. Luckily, right when I had, like, the day I was gonna start that job, bro, like, for real, that same day, I got a call by another job. Like, yep, I'm out. I ain't doing it. Never what went, dog. I, went, I, just, I just went there and filled out my paperwork and shit. I'm like, man, I'm about to be in the all boys school. Hey, I'm like, I'm gonna punch one of these little niggas. That shit like. was whack though. You gotta think, like, I'm a little nigga from the east side yeah. going to all boys school for sure. Like, rich as fuck. Yeah. I'm talking about the seniors pulling up in BMWs. Duh, I I'm, bet. I'm walking. We had, <laughs> we had just moved over to like Sherwood, so it wasn't too far. Oh, like yeah. a little mile walk. Mom was like, yeah, I gotta be work. I can't. Can't drop you off at yeah. school. Like, Hell yeah, fuck all right, I'm sweating and shit. By the time I get there, they all yeah. they look all nice and shit. No, that's where you gotta put that Come. motherfucker in the book bag. Go to the bathroom, put your shit out, dog. And that bitch wrinkled. <laughs> <laughs> so now you the wrinkled nigga with no haircut yeah. <laughs> in the prep uh, school. But you know, I, I made you know I made my little way, figured yeah. it out there. It was cool. For you, sure. You always find you know your group and shit. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. How was that transition though going to Mumford though? Like I loved it. Yeah. I like first first month was different as hell. Cause one is it's girls, but then shit, you got metal detectors. Yep, yep, <laughs> you yep. Got niggas with guns. For my, sure. my second day, nigga brought a shotgun in that bitch. Second, Duh. second, second day of 10th grade, bro. They yeah. like, we woo, sirens and lights at everybody in the hallway. We on lockdown. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm like, what what classroom do I go to? They're mm-hmm. like, anyone, it don't matter. I'm like, duh. Oh, all right, bet. Yeah. So, but then shit. It, Got on the football team, baseball team, yeah. found my way and shit. And just yeah. it was funny. I went from being like one of the only black people mm-hmm. at U of D. Yeah. It's one of the only light skinned niggas at my scared out and shit. So I was still like the minority. Yeah, type for sure. deal, but it was cool. Sure. I fuck with Mumford. I found shit, you know, lifelong friends. I yeah. had the niggas was in my wedding type shit. So, no, no, that's what's up. That's you know. dope. Now, nah, dog. So you know what I'm saying? You who you play football? What position you play in football and uh, basketball? Football, defensive end, tight end. Yeah. Real. I was I was the first uh Gronk type yeah. nigga, you feel me? For sure. But, for sure. <laughs> and then uh basketball. So I wasn't good at hooping probably till I got to college. Like yeah. I was just the big nigga, grab rebounds, couldn't mm. really shoot, was fast as hell. Yeah. But like uncoordinated. I was a hooper. I was a football player that hooped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baseball was my real sport though. Okay, like that's okay. what I played. Oh, you play baseball? Time, pitcher. Okay, oh damn. Um, so you had, you, you you good if you do that. I was, I, was, I was a pitcher. Played yeah. that shit, played a little bit in college, got hurt. Okay. That was about I'm about to say, did you have like dreams of like trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, shit, I put down the baseball bat and picked up the blunt because I thought yeah. I was about to, <laughs> I thought I was about to, you know, play till now and type yeah, shit. I yeah. never, I was like, yeah, I can't, can't go with y'all in the smoke, yeah. bro. I got, I got yeah. dreams. Yeah. So. Now, like, like, why do you think, bro, like a lot of times when these kids is growing up and they just football, basketball, football, basketball. Why don't you think like, is, is baseball not being promoted enough for them to even play? Uh, that's from something a, I want to do. Shit, to this day, bro, from just being an inner city kid, like yeah. my son plays baseball now. Mm-hmm. You got to go out, mm-hmm. out the city limits. You got to spend a band mm-hmm. on just a season mm-hmm. just to even get in it for baseball. Like, yeah. it's expensive, but I just don't think we we know the outlets. Like, yeah. you can do so much more than hoop. You can do so much more than sports, bro. Yeah, for sure. No, that's but, a fact. That's a fact. And nowadays, dog. You 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 seeing that right now? Like these these kids are seeing that shit. Like even with I was just talking to a parent of my um uh, one of my old students when I was at Bradford, mm-hmm. and um I'm like dog, what uh where little dog hoop at now? Cause I'm like I know he going to the 10th grade and shit. Like man, he he don't even hoop no more. He was mad like he he a gamer. So that's all he do, bro. They bringing in six bands a day <laughs> minimum if you good. Yeah, no like, for sure. You got TikTok. You got. Then you got the other ones with yeah, Twitch, the, Twitch, yep, yep, yep. and then you can put that shit on YouTube, yeah. get residual streams, bro. bro. You can make money not leaving your fucking room at all, at all. And like T Grizzly got the whole city on GTA, no, bro. Yeah, he got. His, he said though he got his. Um, he got that shit. I guess he got the little uh server or whatever software from some dude in Canada for free. And he said he making what fifty bands a month off that junk. Got his, his homeboys on there to make his money. homeboys eating, making like. Legit bread feeding their families, type bro. Shit. That's wild, bro. Like, I never thought, like, all them times because I used to be a gamer, Get out dog. that damn game, yeah. Like, you on that damn game, bro. I used like, to be in my head, fucked up, my yeah. that I could have been rich, but yeah, because he got the, he got the monitor, he got the chair. So, my son showed me a jump every day. He's just on the game, on the game, on the game, on the game. I need to go ahead and tell my son to get that shit because he played, I'm, yeah, bro. And then these games, bro, these games cost so much money now. 
because you got to buy them. That's that's 60, 70 a pop. Yep. Then you got to get the in game ads and all, all that, that add ons and shit. Then some shit. VC. Don't yep. let it be 2K. Oh, my God. That's yeah. all. But the only thing about this, two, this year, 2K, that you get to get the what's name, NBA League Pass for free and shit when you pay it for the 150. I'm like, dog, I never thought a game would cost 150. I get that shit for the free. Me too, on, the, on the, the fire stick. You do the $5 yeah. fan duel shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, fast, fast. Three months, man. I got that shit for four months for free, though. You ain't lying. You and then I just placed a couple bets. My profile, her profile. Yep. That's, that's the whole season. No, you're yeah. right. What you mean? Tell, 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 your, tell your wife, hey, go ahead and do this. Y'all know you don't play. Hey, Ma, you got a, you don't got no fan duel. Let me yeah. place this $5 <laughs> bet real quick. Hell yeah. Hey, I got to yeah. think about you. Your own bet. They can go out to get that. Yep. That's another, that's three months. Free but no, it is a lot more. This sports, bro. Like, like and, you can do coding. Yeah. Like, you, like they got coding for five year olds, bro. Yeah, like yeah. you go pay a couple dollars. But it's it's on the parents too to mm-hmm. go ahead and find those resources and find those outlets that the kids can go to and you know what I'm saying partake so now, in. Bro, we got ease though. Yeah, it's you easy. Got a computer. No excuse. You got a computer in the, in your pocket at all times. Bro. For sure. There's no reason that your kids not on this on yeah. that. Like if you like, I get you need your downtime. Mm-hmm. But if you're not putting them in shit early just to see what they might like, yeah, what they like, what they're good at. This nigga might never touch a baseball in high school. Yeah, he might sure. never swim. He swim. He do all types of shit. Yep. He hate doing. Man, he be like, I'm tired. Yeah, we about to put my my little girl, and my son, in, in, in swim because he he just came and asked about that shit. Want to be in swim class? Shit. I'm like, you know what? You need to because your brother can't. I mean, your uncle can't swim for shit. That nigga. <laughs> but then that shit opens up so much of the world. It do, him, bro. You it can do. go travel. You can go do some other shit. Go out in the middle of the. Because I'm thinking about myself when I was in high school, bro. And the only thing I did was hooping it, hoop around the city. That's it. And then grades was fucked up, so I wasn't even hooping for my school no more. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I know a lot of my mm-hmm. homies too that's been restricted to the neighborhood. Shit, let alone leave Michigan. They never left the east side. You feel me? You feel me? I got a lot of homies that never been out of town, never seen nothing they outside don't cross of eight miles. Bro, they go real. to the liquor store. Yep. They go, you might get their clothes from whatever bodega or whatever you want to call it. Hell yeah. And then they, they do their little house parties, and that's just all they know. That's it. That's the good work. That's every that's every that's day. Life. When they when they come up on a plate, that's a good ass. It's, it's a great week. Yeah, that's, for sure. That's they fucking Christmas in July type shit. <sighs> That's and then sad, it's, it's on to the next one. You yeah. go to work, clock in, clock out. Like, yeah. it ain't life, my nigga. Yeah, no, nah, for it's, sure. It's you, you looking at it every day. It might be fake on the gram, yeah. but it's out there. Yeah, no, you for can sure. have it. Yeah. it. How bad do you want it? And see, that's the thing, dog. Niggas don't want it that bad because niggas. niggas and I said niggas about fifteen hundred times, but <laughs> it's, niggas is a term of endearment. Yeah, and, niggas don't want to. Niggas don't want to work for stuff like. And I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was that nigga in my twenties, bro. That would just like I would live for the moment. Like, oh, we going to the club on Friday. We going to the club on Sunday. We hooping during the week. <laughs> long term. You know what's a, a hilarious movie that I reference because the nigga had a long term go. What up? You seen the new Superfly? No, I ain't seen like the, one. the remake. Yeah, I ain't so, seen. So, did you see the old one? Hell, I ain't never seen Superfly. Oh, I'm a fucked up person. Superfly, <laughs> drug drug dealing nigga. Like, yeah, for sure. wasn't the great. Should have been a Tubi movie. <laughs> like, you feel me? But. <laughs> Shout it out was, to Tubi movies. Shout out, I fucking love Tubi. Mm-hmm. Tubi Tuesdays. <laughs> so, but it's like, bro was a drug dealer, like mm-hmm. every other drug dealer, but he actually had a, a out an exit plan. For sure. You always gotta have a plan. Bro. No, you do. Like, even if it's on some small shit, I'm gonna save a hundred dollars. Yeah, that might sound small. Mm-hmm. But bro, you save a hundred dollars to like you didn't need to go back and grab a twenty, mm-hmm. and now it's eighty. Like yeah, you yeah. actually saved a hundred dollars. No, for sure. Hell like yeah. start small. Yeah, for yeah, sure. But it's got to, and then that honey got to go to something, not just a bag, not yeah. just a clothes. <laughs> yeah, nigga, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. But, go to something that's actually gonna go ahead and profit off of. Because it's bro, the world too. The world so much bigger than the East Side. Yeah. The world so much bigger than fucking Detroit. Yeah. And niggas be like, Detroit's so small because we don't go nowhere. Yeah. yeah. It's not that small. Bro, it's- <laughs> you know, niggas just ain't left. You go to the same. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the same motherfucking areas every day, so you gonna see the same. You gonna know that motherfucker every you, day. You've unlocked that character yeah. ten years ago, nigga. You just ain't went nowhere else. Same crackhead, same bomb, same good people. Like, bro, that shit. Crackheads never die. Yeah, but, <laughs> no, at all. At all. I know some crackheads have been living for a long time. Same one since you were seven. Duh. I go right here on, on East Warren and Cadillac, and it's going to be the same niggas at that gas station that was there when I was going to Southeastern, dog. <laughs> like, still to my nephew. Like, nah, nah, can I get it? Let me go with something. You already know when I say nephew, boy. Hey, all right, mm-hmm. hey, nephew, let me go ahead and get this or get that. They just love my mama, though, because my mom worked for this little catering uh, little company and shit. So she used to always bring her food, dog. Mm-hmm. Always bring her food back. So it's the shit that she knew we ain't like when she stopped at the store, get her a little gas, or she smoked, she get her a little blunt wraps and shit because at the time that's when blunt wraps was heavy. Mm. Nigga, get my man a plate. He'd be like, oh, auntie, hell yeah. Nigga, go ahead. Love you, sugar. Thank you. Nah. <laughs> nah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey, for sure, they sugar. That's an old motherfucking uh, crackhead. Oh, sweet thing. <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah, like, hey, hey, cuz, watch out, cuz. Hey, watch chill out, out, chill out, bro. No, that shit funny as hell, bro. Now, dog, I been asked, I asked anybody this question, bro. When the last time you cried, what was the reason? You know, say a lot of people don't want to answer that shit. You no, might, so I'm. You might not I mean, cry. I'm light skinned I don't cry, <laughs> so I don't want y'all to be like, "Oh, this nigga, he just trying to think of when the last time." No, like for real, probably when my my uncle passed. Okay, okay, okay. That that one, and then I probably got into like a real fight with my wife or some shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Hold on, wait. <laughs> my wedding, I cried when okay. she like walked down the aisle type. For shit. sure. That for was sure. that was probably like three. Yeah. That'll be three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Okay, okay. So y'all y'all got married in July. Uh, October, it'd be three oh, years. Oh, October. Oh, yeah, yep. okay, okay, okay. See, I, I felt also oh, y'all got married in a little COVID year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I felt we got cheated, dog. For- we, we, uh, we got married July 10th of 2020. But, but if you think about it, it cuts down the whole guest list. It was so much cheaper. Oh, shit. And then we went from 500 to 12. <laughs> I, I was- but think about those 500 people who gave us gifts. <laughs> see, we didn't we didn't get no gifts. Yeah, we didn't like either. We didn't get nothing. We got about four hundred dollars at the end of the day. I mean, I'm pretty sure. See, that's crazy. I can't wait till she see this and be like, oh, "Look, baby, it's normal." Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, we paid for it. We we went through it. We did. Oh, we got she, married. See, we we got married in my uh, my aunt's stay in West Bloomfield. We got married in her backyard. That's beautiful. Yeah, it was cool though. But for the little people here, my 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 aunt who's my producer, he was doing a little photography and shit. You know what I'm saying? I gave about two dollars in a hug and shit though. <laughs> Shout out to the photographers, man. No, they, for, they sure. for sure. For sure. I want to sure. say mine was free, so yeah, I, yeah. I didn't pay for shit. Oh, yeah, I didn't pay for none either, but but I did get messed up, dog. Cause, and shout out to uh, to uh, producer Q, dog. That nigga can come through and shit, man. Nigga, I gave him a lot of good practice for the money he making right now and shit. <laughs> but, dog, we had gave the Northwest Activity Center $1,200, bro, a week before COVID hit. Nigga, I, I still, ain't seen that, still ain't seen that shit. Yeah, we, we lost out on about eight on the, on the deposit. Man, that yeah. shit hurt. We paid, we paid for cake. We did all that shit like a week before that whole shit had hit. For like the shutdown, shutdown. Yep. But see, we we finicky. So we had got engaged. Yeah. 2016. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> y'all wait a little bit. It's cool. <laughs> hey, but y'all young though. So you it's feel cool. Me, so. It's cool. Yeah. You got some niggas who've been with their wife since the 80s and shit. And they ain't married. And they ain't married. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did it eventually. Yeah, we did it. So. Hell no, no. That shit funny. Now, bro, did you learn during that COVID year that you could really, really fuck with your family though? Cause that shit really showed you, like, damn. Cause for the most part, if niggas were doing it the right way, they would just run niggas in their house. Was at the crib, yeah. He was at the crib, like he was going to get your weed, and he was going yeah. to get your food. And he was at the crib. That yeah. was that was my life. Um, yeah. So COVID, we had just got married October. Shit, I got fired October twenty fourth. Yeah, damn, damn. And I'm doing cable, like lime and shit, like hooking okay. up power lines and shit. For and sure. it was my first like real time at the crib mm-hmm. with him. He was about three at the time, mm-hmm. something like that. And I'm like, I fuck with this shit. And that's kind of really how I came up with the whole dank dad thing. For sure. She was like, you've been on work about three months. It was like January. Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, yeah, she's like, I ain't tripping. You know, yeah, for still, sure. I'm, I'm going to let you know. Still getting all the little COVID money was great, bro. I don't care Hell how yeah. people niggas, talk shit about that. COVID yeah. money was. Niggas nigga, eating heavy. I got fired and she didn't even care. And she was like, <laughs> okay, are you happy? I was like. It was like a weight lifted because I hated the fucking job, but it was great money. For sure. Me? That's how I usually do So it. she was like, what you going to do? I'm like, shit, I'm, I love smoking this weed. I love the dank. And yeah. I'm like, fuck with my kid, babe. I'm like, I love being a dad. I'm like, I'm a dank ass dad. Yeah, yeah. And then boom. That they was kinda, it. Yeah. So I, I really fuck with COVID because I probably wouldn't be sitting right here no, talking sure. to you if, yeah. like, I don't fuck with COVID. Like, let me not. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really fuck with that let COVID me, shit, dog. That. I know I killed a couple of y'all niggas, but. <laughs> Couple million, probably. <laughs> but like the time during COVID, no, for to sure. Like Wait, be bro. forced to be with your family, bro. Yeah. Like I damn near wish some people had it again to yeah. just remember. No, for sure, really matter. No, it's the fact. Either COVID, you was gonna come out of COVID either with a plan, or you was gonna be motherfucking broke because that you lost that money. You or, know what I'm saying? A plan, broke or dead. Yeah, for sure. Fair. Yeah, yeah, because we were still doing the podcast over the month. Like, I hated doing that shit over the phone. I just missed because that was my outlet, nigga. I'm just not, yeah, that interaction. Yeah, because so. I'm sitting here going in the car, shit, doing the gym, like get out of the car, like man, that shit weak. So mm-hmm. I told him after that, after two months of doing that shit, hey, man, I'm coming back. Nigga say he want to come, we gonna do it, dog. Wear a mask, fuck it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you had niggas doing podcasts with a whole mask on. We came here, episode 125. Like, what the fuck that nigga say? <laughs> Mask all on and shit, dog. Mm-hmm. Now, um, 
what what right now, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you got plans and you got everything going on, but what's some stuff that you still feel is holding you back that you need to still continue to work on within um, yourself or business this, or whatever? Shit, as, a, as a man, my temper, like I just need to learn how to listen mm-hmm. in the moment yeah. and not react. For sure. That's that's probably a little bit of everybody. Like you got to be a real zen-like nigga to just mm-hmm. be calm at all times. Hell that, yeah. Understand it and then consistent. Mm-hmm. Like I, I have a plan. I have a little momentum. And then I just get not complacent, yeah. But like, eh. get a little chill, yeah. yeah. So I just gotta finish. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Like yeah. I want to, I want to finish. Still growing. Like I'm not even thirty. For like, sure. I, I know I'd be like, I'm old, man. I'm getting yeah. old, but thirty ain't shit. Hell no. Like you still, I got a lot of life. No, nigga. for sure. Like, Hell we yeah. gonna look back at this shit in a year, be like, nigga, we didn't came so far. Hell yeah, for so, sure. Hopefully, I don't get some money off this shit one day. <laughs> facts. Hell yeah, no, But that anger shit, you. No, I remember like prior relationships, like. When I was with, you know, little girlfriends or my oldest son, because my two youngest were with my wife, my oldest son, high school girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I just remember, like, getting mad, doing dumb shit. Like, <laughs> I remember punching the wall in the apartment building, dog. I got to go ahead and put that plaster over it. Like, damn. Man, I ain't put my whole fist through this bitch. Like, <laughs> she like, we got to lose the whole security department. We got <laughs> we every holes sh- in the wall. We for sure did, Man, dog. so just, shit, that's growth, nigga. Yeah. When the last time you put a hole in the wall? Oh, shit, I ain't did that shit since then, dog. Because exactly. you put your hand, you're swollen. Like, hand the- hurt, and you got to go to Home Depot and shit. <laughs> Man, you go on YouTube as, or have a blast. Man, man it's fuck driving with your off hand because you didn't hit the wall with your strong hand and shit. Like, man, <laughs> hey, because you know how W looking hitting that bitch with your weak hand don't do shit to it. <laughs> and you know, she made you go right after you hit that bitch because she don't want to sit there and look at that bitch like a hoe. So you still mad. No, for sure. It's like, yeah. For sure. So now when I get mad, bro. Like, when she made me mad, dog, I, 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 I credit some of this shit to him, dog. Like, it's the, when you when you got a lady, it's kind of like you're going to lose in an argument if you win. You mm-hmm. feel me? So mm-hmm. a lot of times when I when I like, if I get mad at my wife about something, dog, I just gotta like just get go in the basement, you know what I'm saying? Watch a little TV, just get quiet, dog. Cause you gotta get you a moment. Yeah. So I got a punching bag for like <laughs> I got I got a whole ass kickboxing bag, bro. And I go down and beat that bitch up real quick. For sure. Like we'll we'll say some shit, and if I like, so I'll stop mm-hmm. before I escalate it. Cause yeah. I know if I respond, usually if I'm responding right then and there, yeah, it's not gonna help. Cause I'm the nigga that'll come back. Like I won't come back to argue, but I'll come back to say my piece an hour later. For sure. For but sure. I'm gonna go punch the shit out that bag. Cause what you just said pissed me off. Yeah. But I know I'm not gonna help the situation. So for now sure. I just go beat the bag. Yeah, up. beat the bag. Yeah. Ass. It's like whoever get, whoever gets to the basement first, you get to get to the blunt or get to the bag. That's for what, that's for what sure. get to decompress hey, first. Hey, type hey. Shit. Now, now I know we got help when you get mad or some shit. Though, if right? I'm blow, we not get into an argument. Like it just if it's life. Yeah. You feel me? I'm not gonna say I'm dependent on weed, but I know it's like it's yeah. definitely a good ass aid. No, like, for sure. Hell if I'm yeah. already high, it's yeah, it's yeah. High. yeah. Hell yeah, fuck it. I'm sorry. Hell for, yeah, for sure. But <laughs> you know, but then if I get to it, then it gets me to a place where I can understand the other side. For sure. Kind of understand my own feelings because that's that's a real part. Motherfuckers don't understand their own feelings. Yeah, for sure. Even Thanks. in a situation where they're upset, do mm-hmm. you know why you? really upset mm-hmm. is it this or is it like some underlying shit that you're nah. really not talking and about and most times so, it's some underlying shit that niggas ain't really you know saying discussing the day-to-day petty shit that you get into an argument about bro that shit be so fucking no nah, you think about that shit like it'd be some stupid shit bro like i remember i was arguing my, my wife about she was buying too much food for our super bowl party <laughs> <laughs> I call nigga, this nigga like, no, she trying to buy all this shit. She like, like three bags of Doritos. <laughs> no, nigga. for real. I asked her, pop, nigga. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna eat that shit. And my, my man was like, dog. He was like, nigga, she trying to just make sure everybody comfortable and shit. Fuck that. And nigga, like, he's like a bitch right now. I'm like, damn, I do sound like a bitch right now. <laughs> Trying to that whole bro, look. I was mad, bro. Like no, I got I to, it. I got to my emotional bag. Bro, we just had his birthday Monday, nigga, and she <laughs> tripping. Like, huh, we got. It's only cousins coming over. Like it's last minute shit. We invited people yeah. Sunday night yeah. to come over Monday afternoon. Like, yeah. Ain't nobody really about super to, last minute. Ain't nobody really about to come. We about to cut this cake. She like, we got to clean the house. We got to clean the basement. Where they gonna sit? Da, da, da. I'm they like, up. it's aunties, uncles, and the grandma. For sure. I'm like, they gonna sit on the couch. Yep. They gonna sit at the table. I'm like For the kids gonna run the fuck around and mess the house up. Yep. Why do it gotta be clean? <laughs> yeah, For sure. This is what I'm thinking in my head. But you like. Just from her perspective, like yeah. she just want her house to, to be, be perfect. Nice. You feel nice. me? Yeah, so it's like yeah. you gotta just be yeah. like, let that shit roll. Boy, out. I was mad as hell. And the Super Bowl was weak as hell. Nigga, what's that time? Baby, beat the hell out of Kansas City. <laughs> I was mad. I lost money to it. Shit. it I lost was. my bet with the niggas on FanDuel and buying this shit. Though. You was supposed you was hoping to recoup off of FanDuel. But no, like all right, bet. <laughs> Ain't nothing like winning on FanDuel when you get that money back. Like hell yeah. 
not knowing you really lost because you in bed about five hundred thousand dollars on that shit, and you went a thousand and you up and shit, dog. But uh, yeah, yeah, stop crying, Rashad. I be crying my ass mm-hmm. off, <laughs> especially when it comes to spending money, nigga. I'm hurt. Like nigga, I, I ain't got it. And I'm just frugal, shit. Yeah, yeah, I, Chad Johnson, that nigga be like, Hell yeah. I'm rich, but it's just not your money. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, and I'm gonna get some cheap shit too. I feel it. Hell yeah, dog. Now, what was what you feel like was your first adult decision you had to make? You like, damn, like I'm really a, a grown person out here. Having a kid. Yeah, I think I had, we found out she was pregnant. I was 21. Okay. So I mean, I had went to school. I ain't do no like real shit. Went yeah. to school, had a job. Was fucking yeah. up. I was I was still a kid, nigga. Yeah, for sure. And then she's like two days of morning sickness. Yeah. We go to Family Dollar. I mean Dollar Tree. Okay. Best, best fucking uh pregnancy test you gonna get. Fuck, <laughs> fuck all them other CVS, Walmart, yeah, for sure. eighteen dollar ones, bro. Yeah. Three of them bitches in a row. You pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. So yeah. it was like, you got a man to fuck up. We yeah. Figure it out. After that, we got our first career. Yeah. And, you know, started adulting. You just figured it ain't no textbook to it. For sure, for sure. You can't Google that shit. Now, you, did y'all get an apartment? No, we got crib. crib. Oh, shit. Y'all started off in the crib. Crib, damn. crib. Yeah. And then it was rent, you know, rented that bitch for out. Sure. But, you know, then life and then finally bought a crib. So. Yeah. Nigga, our, our shit was in one bedroom and the bathroom was in our room. So, nigga, we trying to have some adult <laughs> time. My son not going to do I got yeah, shit. <laughs> like, damn. Like, what type of. Why would they even build an apartment with the bed with the with, with a bathroom? One bathroom and it's in the bedroom. That's a They expect your ass not to have no friends. Like nigga, you ain't got no company coming over there. Especially if this nigga came over, nigga, he got the BGs and shit. Do me. <laughs> okay. I know y'all ain't here knocking boots and shit, but I got a boot. Right. <laughs> nigga, so many mornings, nigga, like damn, we gotta go ahead and stop, nigga. That get intimate like a motherfucker. Nigga, I know y'all fed me chili last night. Like, nah. <laughs> that shit funny as hell, bro. So damn. your kids the type to wake up and shit right away too, huh? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. No. Yeah, my, all my showers get interrupted. Yeah, we, oh yeah, yeah. You, nigga, you can't have a peaceful shower, nigga, at all, nigga. My wife doing her little eyebrows and shit, nigga. Nigga coming there shitting and shit like this. Don't give a fuck about your time. Can you pass me the? <laughs> all right. Yeah. You good, dog? What's, what's something you wanted to be, bro? That you never told nobody, dog, as a youngin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that shit right there, nigga. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Like not. So I, told, I never told somebody what I wanted to be. Or just some shit that you ain't, you know, you, you know, young nigga, you know, you don't take shit life serious and shit. You just, you just saying shit like. No, it's crazy because I like people be like, yeah, that sounds about right. It's not no, I'm still a kid, bro. For sure. I probably like I, I like I love anime. Okay. So like, if I wasn't like an anime like creator yeah. type shit, I'd probably be like, you you remember Jackie Chan Adventures? Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. was my shit. So I wanted, I, I really wanted to be that nigga, like, <laughs> like an archaeologist slash ex spy, like, <laughs> like halftime spy, halftime archaeologist. Like yeah, shit. yeah. That's, and I still like shit like that to this day. No, I when should I retire. That shit funny as hell, dog. Yeah, at the anime, my uh, my brother, my older brother, he he an actor, and he just doing COVID, he crossed over to being a, a voiceover for his one anime. I forgot the name of that shit, but. He just started doing that shit. Built the studio in his crib and shit. Got to getting down, I dog. Probably, I probably watched that shit if it come on like Netflix or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga be... That shit funny. I heard his voice like, this shit funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, dog. I don't even know he black. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, now, if you want to introduce yourself to the world, bro, and, and tell him about yourself without saying anything, just playing a song or an album, what song or album would that be? That really, like, tell me about what the fuck dang dad, dog. That was a little deep. I, these questions I got to nope. start saying niggas. Uh, it's crazy. I got a, a good one for that. Oh, what up? Smoothies in 1991. Larry June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's you. That's like, nigga, on the good. You walk outside, bro. It's like 77. The sun shining. Hell yeah. I, that song just plays in my head. Hell you yeah. You feel me? It's got sure. a good, good vibe to it. Yeah. You go out, get some money. Hell ride, yeah. Just in your own space type for sure. shit. So I, I don't bother nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's that's me. That we got, I gotta put the producer on Larry June. That nigga sleep on Larry June, dog. Man. That nigga hard, bro. And, nah. and I'm glad I, I discovered him late because then I got the list to a whole bunch of albums and shit. This okay. When when you find him? Like about two years ago. Two years ago, and okay. he he okay. already he was already like you know what I'm saying yeah, he was already popping. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, oh shit, this nigga hard. I found him right before COVID, like 2019. Yeah. So I kind of like. Didn't see him grow, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I was with him like right when he started getting hot type. Who was the artist that you were kind of like riding the wave with? Because I was like, I could say me and the, like I, currency. I seen currency like when he was like, I remember he was with Young Money. 
You know mm. what I'm saying? I remember like back then. I remember when he had before signed, the like right before the Wiz Khalifa. Yep, days. yep. I remember when he had left Young Money. I remember he was with uh Dame Dash mm-hmm. when Dame Dash had left Rockefeller and him and Jay, him and, and Jay he had, was doing yeah that in between shit. Yeah, so like I seen his come up a little bit. Like I feel like I, I okay I grew up you know saying watching like Currency whole little way yet now now niggas all, all on his team and I'm like nigga mm-hmm. he been popping for a minute. Currency been popping for a minute. Nigga. Hell yeah! Like my man's put me on him in like twenty. 11 the car service for sure Hell yeah I I'm, remember like, who, I'm like who is this nigga, nigga what? I'm like he chilling yeah. I like it um let me see like an up and come who's like now popping yeah like, I feel like I found earlier I don't know I shit I, I wanted to tell niggas back in the day like I should have went to music A&R yeah because I found like all the gems yeah for sure early um I don't know I was on money bag yo yeah years ago okay I wasn't like, expecting you to say money <laughs> I, I, yeah I, I I fuck with music like, yeah for all, sure all, spectrums of it um money bag for show um but i say somebody like that i'm always playing it you ever heard of he not even popping yet ellie dollar no west coast. i love like west coast me too me too shit. hell yeah jeep rico um, that's one nigga i'll be listening jeep to niggas. rico <laughs> fucking j-rock like all of them like the old tde dreamville way bro like i remember this. kendrick had this mistake that he was going off of all lil wayne instrumentals bro. Mm-hmm. and then he had the motherfucking self uh uh, uh title shit that, the Kendrick Lamar EP, uh, EP I EP. believe. Yeah, though. So I when he blew up, I'm like, oh shit, I've been up on this nigga. Him and Big Crit. Those two them, niggas I was up on. I, see, that's older though. Like I fucking love Big Crit. Hell like, yeah. 12 for 12. For you sure. Heard that mixtape? Yeah, hell that's yeah. Top five mixtape. No, uh, Crit, Crit was here. That's when I first like I remember I jumped in my brother's car and I'm like, who the fuck is this? And then I just got here. <laughs> and that was, was like in, shit. That was like 20, 2011. Young, young nudie. Okay. From Dreamville, yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I fuck with him, boss. I feel like he's on. Like yeah. you heard, of, you heard of him. For sure, he don't like. Yeah. Niggas don't get like little baby. baby how how baby. many people be telling you like J Cole, but y'all mixed with the weekend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but your dress is put together like J Cole. Give a fuck about his dress and shit. Oh, yeah, I get I'm not about that. I I respect it, yeah. but I can't. And nigga, if I don't get a retwist, probably yeah, like, yeah. Eight months. I'm yeah. like, mm, shit. no. I, w- I so, wish I can grow hair. I be seeing my son, nigga, like. Look at this nigga got hair and shit. But your beard built in, though, nigga. It's, like, it I just got there. They got, my shit had the hole, so I, I got to make sure it's long enough for me to comb the bitch over it. Huh? I, I can't, so I can't get length. Oh, okay, okay. Just, I've had this since sixth grade. <laughs> oh, yeah, face your since sixth grade? Damn, nigga, I wish. Bro, I, I'm, talking I, about, I'm talking about these. I'm, I'm going to send you a picture. Uh, and you post that bitch up like that. I put that bitch right there, yeah. Yep. Bro, I ain't get, get facial hair that. for real, for real, until I was like, nigga, 22. No, like 23, was, nigga. Had the little mustache, little motherfucking Stephen A. Smith mustache, nigga. I was getting my grandma Virginia Slims from the gas station <laughs> nigga at 14. <laughs> like, yeah, let me get a back in there. No. Menthol, please. Like now you uh you had briefly uh spoke on being uh from the east, man. Wait, who, uh where you where on the east side and like who was in the crib with y'all? Um or with you grew up with my mama and grandma. Okay, you know, basic yeah, yeah. type shit, 90s, early 2000s. Um, it was so you know, out of drive, you know where Kelly and uh Hayes split off for sure, yeah, right there on Craft. You remember oh, yeah. where that pink car was coming out that building? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you in the hood? Car, yeah, it was in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know how in the hood I was? Girl, you was, was hood. coming home from school one day. Yeah, quick, quick little hood story. Blocked off. Okay. Not just, not just police cars, nigga. Army tanks. Damn. Somebody oh. had hostages across the street. Duh. And we like, hmm. <laughs> well, we can't go home because I'm talking about directly across the street. And it's not like the hood, hood like bright mo motherfucking red zone. No, for shit. sure. It's like for they sure. keep their grass cut. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. edged and shit. Yeah, but somebody got a picket fence, but nigga, it's some killers over there. They do some dumb shit, nigga. Yeah. So we couldn't go home till like 12 o'clock till they bust the dough down and all that other Duh, shit. Oh, that shit crazy. Nigga, another time woke up, take a shit. Yeah. Like two in the morning. Glad I ain't wash my fucking hands. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did a drive by, nigga. Blah, blah, blah. Nigga, shit in windows. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I'm like, ma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, <laughs> shit in the house. <laughs> I'm like, they got the bathroom. I'm go back to my room in the back. No, I said, good thing he ain't wash his hands. It would be out this boy. I, mean, I wouldn't be sitting here, bro. Damn. It would been a wrap. That shit. bitch was about head height. <laughs> now, uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> niggas say, I was just taking a shit, dog. Like, damn, that's I'm fucked up. In the middle of the night, bro. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I spent about ten years over there. Now you, uh, you say your mom and grandma, like, was, was your dad around? You know, who your dad is. Right, that's an unlucky, nigga. He didn't get to know me like that. I yeah. know of him. Yeah. Last time I seen, bro, I was about. So no, I didn't like he. I didn't grow up with him and shit. Didn't sure. know him growing up type shit. My mama tried to like have us have a relationship. When yeah, I was for about, sure. Hit me up. I was like, what's up, son? I'm like. 
What's up, nigga? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, sure. you're like, I'm over here, boop de boop de boop. So I just so happened to be chilling that day. Yeah. Below, pull up on him. So this like he, you you are you grown. Um before kids, this right but I'm about 21. Okay. Like like before we found out she was pregnant. For shit. sure. So pull up on him. He look like a fuck. It's crazy, nigga. Look just like me. Yeah, for I'm sure. talking about nigga like. Yep, that's how you usually go, nigga. Yeah, After yeah. Nigga look just like your ass. <laughs> nigga, I'm like, is this me fat as shit? <laughs> 30 years later? Fuck. So <laughs> walk in that bitch, what's up? He has some bitch and she she goop, she eyeing me and shit. Cause I'm like, yeah, I know I look better than this nigga. Yeah, for sure. like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you wish you had the younger version. Anyway, this so this nigga, we nah. we go to the gas station, whatever, <laughs> random as hell. I now I see us a setup. He's yeah. like, Hold twenty dollars. I got this new job. I'm like, oh, oh here shit, we nigga, you just go. Nigga, we just got yeah. He's like, you know, when I get my first check. I'm gonna take you out to lunch. Me trying to be nice and yeah, shit. Go ahead, do it. Shit. Get this nigga ten dollars. Yeah. I ain't giving him. A yeah, y'all yeah, got ten. No, you got twenty. Got ten, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, hit me. I'm like, yeah, hit me. You got my number clearly. Yeah. That's last time. Damn. So man. I got a half brother and a half sister. I'm I'm pretty solid with them. Okay, like, okay. Ain't so no y'all know each other. And shit. We know each other. They say he's mad at me because he never met his grandchildren. And I'm like, nigga, he never met me, nigga. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, yeah. Like, nigga, if we walked past you, yeah, and like I really didn't see you, yeah. I wouldn't fucking notice you, nigga. Yeah, yeah that's that's wild. So, that's wild. Yeah, I call, I call it his loss, though. Yeah, I got fucking yeah, he can't nigga. You gotta build a relationship with, with you before you even step to the to the to your kids, nigga. Like nigga, what? Like I'm a like I can't just hey, my kids, dog. I know you ain't well, here's, here's my son. Nigga. Yeah. You know, yeah, hold my, hold my baby. You got a baby girl, don't you? Yep. Yeah, hold my baby girl. And shit like. <laughs> my son, about a couple of years ago, he was like, Dad, because he spent a lot of time with my mama. Yeah. So he was like, Dad, tell me the story of your dad. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Well, son, I'm he like, had 20. I'm like, Well, the end. Yeah. <laughs> like, now, now, usually, like, do that, did, did that make you a better father, though? Like, because you're like, No, I'm going to make sure. I don't understand how just, like, you know, like, no, I never got a paternity test, but nigga, I look at my kids like they they're the spitting image. Not for sure, for right? sure. So for sure. you you know you had you know you fucked this lady, you bust a nut, y'all had a baby, right? Exactly. Like niggas know. Yeah. I don't see how in your fiber of beings, nigga, you Duh. can't just fuck with that kid, nigga. That's you. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, it don't even me being a great dad, self proclaimed. I feel like other people say that shit too. It don't got shit to do with him. <laughs> no, for sure, for like, sure, nigga. That's just because nigga, that's me. Yeah, and my yeah. kids. But I'm you know like, how sometimes when niggas they ask me, I'll make sure I'm, you know, saying this, oh, yeah, no, this the love like, that I wanted. This the shit. Probably yeah. deep down, like my wife say, I still got daddy issues. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Probably like I'm a shit on you, nigga. I'm gonna show you how to be a good daddy sure. type shit. For like, sure. Yeah, sure, that might drive me a little bit, but yeah. nigga, still, you, nigga, that's your kid, nigga. Yeah, like, nigga, like, I don't give a fuck how bad the baby mommy is. Like, exactly. I'm gonna been a terrible baby mom. Yeah, that still ain't gonna stop you from doing what you gotta I know do. Niggas that I want to get their baby mama hit for yeah. them, yeah, like yeah. nigga, out of town shooters. I don't yeah, even know yeah. if I can say that shit out loud, <laughs> but like, and they still great fucking dads. No, for sure. So it's it's on the nigga at the end of the day. No, facts. Hell yeah, dog. Because I I I know people and. I'm like, bro, how the fuck, like, when you break up with the mama, nigga, you done with the kid, like, or, like, you got kids, you just don't fuck them, you, but you still in the streets hanging with your niggas, like, that shit don't make no sense to me, bro. Yeah, you pick and choose what you got time for. Yeah. And you don't really have to, if it's your kids or something else, you Man. don't really have to fucking pick. Bro, I, it's about going to get the bag. Bro, I ain't saying turn down, I ain't turned down jobs because I felt like that would have took away from me being the dad. Definitely have. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I, 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 nigga, like, jobs are paying more than my current job. I'm like, you know what? This current job right now got me to be around my kids, around my family. Quality I'm coaching. I'm still, I still got peace of mind. Quality Some of niggas life, working bro. jobs. Like, I remember I worked at Chrysler, bro. And I, niggas used to always ask me why I never did overtime. Because my shift was from, what, 5 to 3. A.M.? Yeah, 5 a.m. to 3. So you already missing. No, 5 a.m. Yeah, so... Oh. 5 a.m. to 3 in the afternoon. So you don't get to drop them off at school. No, that don't pick them up. You might be not able to pick them up. No, nope, because she's doing that. So I might, so you want, so overtime, you got to come in at like 2 in the morning, and then niggas was leaving at like 5 in the so evening. So you missing any extracurriculars? Bro, you, you missing everything. So niggas, that I shit get, matters. Soon as they ask for overtime, nigga, they, they just stop coming to me. Like, nigga, I'm not staying, bro. So I'm not coming in early. I say that shit matters, but it don't matter to the parent, nigga. That shit matters to the kid. Hell yeah. Because don't get me wrong, if I had my dad there, at some games mm -hmm. when I was that nigga in baseball at a young age, I felt sure. like I might be in the league for real. For like sure. you never know what that yeah, to add support. Yeah, you just look over and you see you see your whole support system. Nigga. When they had a choice of being when you have a choice, bro, it's not an option. Bro, 
when you go to a suburban schools, they kids don't even play. They be at every game with water, Gatorades. Like, like how y'all niggas making? Nigga, my brother, in, my brother was cold in, at hooping, but his first year at King, he was on the bench. Nigga, we went to every game. I'm like, every nigga, I'm talking way home. Nigga, like he get that two minutes in, like, oh, but you did good for the two minutes, mm-hmm. boy. You bought up, man. but he was like, nigga, at the every game, he see. Even though he wanted to play, but he saw the support. And then when he started getting more playing time the following year, the year after he started and shit, I'm still there, bro. I'm going to support. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, with my son, I remember, um, of course, he started his freshman year. Then his 10th grade year, the you know, first couple of games, first two, three games, he didn't get the opportunity for real. Then, but I'm still there. And, nigga, I was at the game when he got in. The, nigga, they didn't put him in. He got in the fourth quarter. Nigga scored 15. I mean, that bitch going crazy. I lost my voice. Like, yeah, <laughs> and that game, he at that game, he was a and starter. That shit meant the world bro. to him. I, I guarantee. Bro, it. Bitch, hell yeah, they all, nigga. Everybody know who I am. Like, your dad was tripping, dog. Like, nigga, I was mm-hmm. good. I was amped, dog. You would thought I was that motherfucker. <laughs> he was playing for uh, Michigan State, the Breslin Center, nigga. Like, mm-hmm. cause like, nigga, I'm like, damn, I'm like, damn, that nigga put my nigga in. Like, he, he barely these nigga. They was one dog. Then he got in because my nigga got hurt. And he got in. I'm like, nigga, this, I'm like, I told my wife, this nigga better take advantage of this shit. Got to. Nigga came in that bitch and hit like three threes in a row. Nigga, I went, nigga, I'm about to take my clothes off. I was all high, nigga. <laughs> Don't my motherfucking shirt, dog. <laughs> <laughs> but no, crazy. you need that support, bro, from as a kid from your parents, dog. That's that's not even sports. That's fair, that's parent teacher conferences. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's being there to talk. You know what I'm saying? Just all picking them up from school, bro. Yeah. Like just like he'd be like. Picking me up today, yeah. Like, yeah, your grandma, and he'd be like, All right, I'm like, I'm fucking for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hey, like, hey, this nigga, right, this nigga be making his son some great lunches, dog. <laughs> you know, I'm the king of that shit. You want to know why? Because my mama couldn't cook and I always had school lunch, yeah. So I'm like, nigga, I'm gonna make sure you right. don't have to eat school lunch, yeah, for sure. And you're gonna eat good, nigga. yeah. Like, huh, did you just blast your mom a little bit? But she, know, <laughs> she know it. I got it, bro. You go on the profile, I got videos like. Ma, what the fuck is this? No, that's what it's <laughs> like. You can't boil everything. Like you gotta season that shit and like cook it. <laughs> like, like I, no, that's... genetics made me a big nigga, but it's not because I ate deliciously well <laughs> as, a, as a child. <laughs> like, <I guess. laughs> oh shit, no, that's like um, hell, dog. Shout out to mom. Shout dog. out to mom. Shout out to mom, dog. Now you, you know what I'm saying. You say you went to OU and stuff like that, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, got injured playing baseball. Had a job and shit like that, dog. How, before we get to the marijuana shit, how you get fired from that job? <laughs> <laughs> what you? It's always funny when niggas get fired. Like it ain't well, funny, but it's, it's never a normal story. Either. So, <laughs> nigga, I did cable construction. So, like, we did like the power lines, sure. like underground shit. Like, not. I used to be the nigga that came to your house, did the Wi Fi. For sure. So I got fired from that one yeah. real quick. Rich Bloomfield shit. Nigga was like, "What are you doing in my yard, boy?" Yeah. White oh, man, I'm like, I'm like, excuse me, yeah. like, who you work for, boy? I'm like, your mama, bitch. You said yeah. that shit again. I beat your ass. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finds out he's like really close with the VP of Comcast. <laughs> I was fired before I got back to my truck. Duh. Fast forward, so then I got like, <laughs> God like promoted me. He was like, nigga was like, you got fired from that shit. You can come do this. We gonna talk to people. Yeah. So stay with him. Da da da. da. Just sure. went to a different division. Okay, okay, okay. But you still um, in the, still in there. Yeah. So then the final straw. I clock in one day. It already been like a rough week. Yeah. I cussed the nigga out, out in the field and mm-hmm. got back to the bosses and shit. And I'm like, me and that nigga went out and got drinks the same night. Like, yeah. it just happens. Like, we for sure. We were men. Yeah. But yeah, the yeah. Debate, like, yeah. You're going to get your arguments. Yeah. They're like, whatever. Both of you guys are getting rolled up. I'm like, cool. So then come in Friday, seven o'clock, clock yeah. in, boom, seven oh one. Fat Santa Claus looking motherfucker yeah. talking shit. I'm just like, I'm not for it today, bro. Yeah, like, for just, sure. Like, just relax. Yeah, yeah. Um, just leave me be, dog. He's just going. I'm like, chill the fuck out before I come over there and I make you want to hit me. So I beat your ass. Yeah. So I'm like, therefore, it's self defense. Yeah, for sure. Because you hit me first. I'm never, sure. never going to hit anybody, but especially a white man yeah. first. For sure. So, for sure. That's a, yeah. <laughs> so then I'm. Please learn that, kids. <laughs> so he keep, keep talking. I don't even know what the fuck he was talking about. He asked me something. I'm like, when you're the supervisor, you do that shit. Yeah. Because it was like something he should have done. Something, anyway. something he should yeah. And I went over there and I just started talking shit. Like, hey, bro, I'm going to slap the pork chops off you. Like, I'm, I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah. Da, 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 blah, blah, blah. So then the boss boss come in. Yeah. He go crying to that nigga. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck who you cry to. whoop de doop de doop Yeah. He's like, I think you need to take the day off, Chuck. I'm yeah. like, I think I need to, too, because I ain't fucking with it. For sure. I was, I was just having a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out doing my shit. I get a call. They're like, yeah, we had a meeting. Yeah. 
that was that was it. <laughs> I'm like straight. I'm like, can I come get my shit? Because I had you know, thousands of dollars worth of equipment. For sure. Shit. Like that's mine. I'm like, like yeah, we work it out. We do whatever. Boom. Yeah. That was it. Call my brother. I'm like, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Got fired. He like, nigga, what? Yeah. I, like I never had no problems. Nigga, nigga, go in, do your For job, sure. go whatever. On, yeah. Everybody fuck with Chuck. Just chilling. Yeah. So he like. He was really, I was over that shit. The only only black person there for probably like three years. Yeah, yeah. And that, that shit, shit get to you. Hell like, yeah, a minute, for sure. Though, just, for sure. Could be that underlying racism nah. shit that be going down, too. You feel me? Yeah. And this the nigga that I ended up cussing out with the underlying racism. Yeah. And he was like, yo, what? Chucky. And everybody like, what? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I'm the only Chucky. Yeah, you lucky you didn't smack his ass off. Just right that. then, somebody called me a nigger. Yeah. Like, ER. Oh, yeah. I held it together, didn't kill that nigga. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, sure. like you, you could have gave me grace on just yelling at a motherfucker. No, but it's like, it's sure. whatever. I was cool. I was, bro, weight lifted. So mm-hmm. that was, that was that. Man, <laughs> duh, that shit crazy. It's always a story. Hell yeah, it is. It's never like a, a normal fire. And it's always nah, like some bro, shit, though. Like, like, I'm about to be, I was, I should have just beat his ass. But ain't nothing worse than the fire when you go to work and actually work the whole day and they knew it was going to fire you from there. Thank you for <laughs> letting me go home, nigga, before seven. Like, all of that shit happened. I, me getting fired happened in 10 minutes. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they called me by 12 o'clock and yeah. I was Duh. probably buying some Rellos or some shit. And they're like, shit. yeah, just don't come back. I'm like, straight. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That was like a little weight, re- uh, uh, you know, lifted off of your shit. It, it started the journey. Yeah. It started everything. Now, Hell yeah. So. And speaking of the journey, bro, you, you just rolled up and shit, dog. Talk about like this. That first time I was smoking, bro, and you was like, this, this some shit that I'm going to do forever. So it wasn't even like that my first time smoking. Yeah. Like, Can't get that worse and you ain't using it. Yeah, I forgot my little parts. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, my first time smoking, it was it was low key wet. Mm-hmm. Shit, I had just graduated high school. Okay, and I was you know a couple weeks before you go off to school and shit. Yeah, and I'm like I'm not really about to smoke. Smoke. My cousin called me. Hey, bro, I got a room in Motor City. Yeah, you just graduated, mm-hmm. nigga. You coming out? Come down for a round. Yeah, he scooped me. I'm I'm like what seventeen. Didn't even like I wasn't. I was one of them. Turned eighteen in college and shit. Mm-hmm. Bottle, blunts. He like roll up. I'm like, I don't. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't, yeah. what, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. He like, all right. Pass the nigga the back. He started rolling up. Yeah. Whatever. I'm drinking. Probably some Hennessy. For sure. 18, Hell yeah. You know, nigga, nigga shit. Eighteen and Hennessy. <laughs> yeah, nigga Mason. shit. This nigga's not 21, so I don't know how he has room. In my city. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like he just, you know, <laughs> how people get room. Yeah, yeah. And we shit. We smoke top floor. You know the, the parking structure, Motor yeah, City. For sure. At the top, we smoke up there. I probably was inhaling wrong. Yeah. Hell and yeah. I'm just like, all right. Yeah. Don't remember the night. Yeah. It was fucked up. It was yeah. probably sleep by ten. Yeah. For sure. That was it. But like, I fell in love with it, like just through experiences. Okay. Like you, like one, this shit lit. Like mm-hmm. I like the way I feel. It makes me feel better. Help my back. Help me go yeah. to sleep. For sure. Like I, you got it. It definitely benefits. It's benefits like a motherfucker. Yeah. So. But like I've just met people I would have never had a conversation with. Type For sure. shit. Hell like, yeah. Hell it's yeah. like niggas I'm cool with to this day, people I work with, people I make money with. Yeah. So it's just it brings people together. Hell yeah, no, for sure. I remember trying that shit. I'm like, nope. Same thing. <laughs> Cause it's like, I don't know if it's like, cause I was just when I did it, it's like every time I did it, it's like it wasn't. You felt good the moment, but then it's like later on down the line, I just started just hallucinating. I'm, I'm thinking for people, mm. everything feels like it's moving too fucking slow for me. I feel stupid. Come here smoking my mom's. My mom was fucking OG smoker, nigga. Like, yeah. like she, I, I was, I was around smoke. We smoked up uh, from fucking a baby. Like my mama never never hid this shit from me. I was like a shame my mom for smoking until I realized opposite. everybody else was smoking. Total opposite. Over <laughs> they hid that shit from me. I mean, I found out you yeah. know, eventually, but yeah, yeah my, my bad. No, you good. No, hell no, you good. Shit. But no, it's just like every time I did it, I just felt fucked up. Like I just felt like things wasn't going right, though. Like that's crazy. It was just scary. It was yeah. always, it was always, a, always an out of body experience. He was probably for me. on some sativas, man. Yeah. Cause I'd be looking at myself like, look at this nigga. Oh, yeah, like you know what I'm saying, up. or I'll be thinking, like, damn, this nigga think I'm high, or damn, he think I'm or fucked was up. Some thrax, like, <laughs> it was either some thrax or some good sativa, nigga. Because I, my, like, once I finally like started understanding, like, I dove deep into that. For shit. Sure. Like, this gonna make me feel like this, yeah. this gonna make me feel like that. Nigga, yeah. I can smoke during the day yeah. and still be functional as fuck. For sure, yeah, because yeah. I'm smoking this strain, like, Bro. I kind of went into the shit like shit. that, but 
and go, all my first experiences was like it was lit because yeah. I was smoking with girls too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, for sure. I'm getting some ass. Yeah. Sure. I'm like, shit, if, I, if this is what it takes, like if I if I gotta smoke this blunt, yeah. you know, like, I'm gonna do it. Sure. Cause she's like, you got some weed. I'm like, no, nah, but you know, I know I know niggas. Mm -hmm. Everybody do. So is we go put to the spot and then here. I'll take you home, I guess. But, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. but no, talk about that, like learning the different uh, strands and just knowing like the ones for you. Just just actually learning about motherfucking marijuana, bro. Not Man, just because it's the difference between just a smoker and you learning the shit. It's like I'm I guess I'm say I'm like a Somali because like I can pair my shit with mm -hmm. with situation, some food, like mm -hmm. learning. It's just, it's just what you put in your body. Like, sure. You're not like I don't eat beef and pork that much anymore okay. still eat meat like turkey chicken and shit but it's For like sure. you just once you read the back of that fucking package yeah, yeah, yeah. google that shit <laughs> like it's like eh. so i kind of do the same with marijuana it's just like it grows from the earth so yeah. what you put on it matters like what you feed it mm -hmm. and then how you cure it mm -hmm. and then of course you do your research on like the seed the strain how they say it make you feel because that shit's pretty much set in stone. Like yeah. the staples, everything is like cross is a hybrid now. Like okay. runs that shit made up delicious as fuck, mm -hmm. but it's made up. Mm -hmm. But if you do it right, it's still gonna make you feel For a sure. certain way. You know, niggas love runs cookies yeah. made up as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a good cookie will make you feel a certain way. For sure. If you're trying to be like just chill, yeah, like yeah. inebriated on the couch, like indica sativa, mm -hmm. indica in the couch. Yeah, they yeah, say. yeah, for sure. See, but that shit's actually flawed. That's how you grow the fucking plant. That's yeah. not how you should specify it making you feel okay type shit like people don't know it but it's just an easier way of saying it to a consumer like for sure. oh, this this sativa gonna make you feel uplifted it's gonna make you laugh yeah. and shit so yeah, yeah, yeah. You just... Which, but you're saying that's not always true though no nah, because i mean you could grow a sativa plant that puts you on the fucking ground but <laughs> yeah, for it's, <laughs> it's yeah. just the way it was grown like short and bushy mm -hmm. tall and skinny mm -hmm. you feel me like it's just but no. it's easier to transform it to me telling y'all or instead of breaking down like scientifically mm -hmm. type shit which i'm still learning but yeah. i still know like a from b for sure for sure compared now, to the average nigga now are you a up. are you a grower pause mm -hmm. but are you a <laughs> <laughs> no i'm a show but, um... <laughs> like no no i mean yeah i grow shit yeah you turn lights on give me about no, five minutes I, uh, every time i try to grow like at least in the crib mm -hmm. something go wrong the dog eat it yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, it started smelling too bad it for didn't sure. it, couple of them came to fruition but wasn't like up yeah. to par for my standards so yeah. i'm not really like if i get enough space mm -hmm. like let me get like a yard with a shed out back to where yeah. the kids can away come from learn it. about it no, yeah. not even away from it because i feel like kids it's not harmful yeah it's not medicine at all. yeah it's, a, it's god's giving plant my nigga like no, that shit. Sure. a nigga didn't create the first marijuana seed that <laughs> shit was somewhere in africa probably mm -hmm. and then it sprouted and like yeah some some for nigga sure. was like well, i'm putting this dry ass leaf for <laughs> sure. yeah, for sure. and i'm gonna smoke i'm gonna put it to this fire yeah. so you feel me? But I'm not the most technically sound motherfucker when it comes mm -hmm. to like doing shit, yeah. taking care. Of. Like I'm really surprised my kids made it this far. Like we do sure. like every birthday, we'd be like, Yes, <laughs> yeah. no, hey, we did that shit. Like, yeah, we yeah. Did. So like taking sure. care of a plant for nine weeks. Yeah. As you should every day, feeding it, all this shit. I'm not with it. But nigga smoking it, yeah. how it's gonna make you feel, what is how it was grown though. Mm -hmm. Like you didn't do no pesticides, no BHO, no bullshit like that. I still know enough of that for sure. to know good weed from bad. Hell yeah! Weed, you feel yeah. me? Now, do you, you you say like you ain't hiding from your kids? Do you feel like it should be a, some classes out here to educate the kids or some shit, or you should be a certain age? Like talk about like you know what I'm saying shit like that because you know it's out here now. Niggas making money is a billion dollar industry. Like billion, bro. So should like, it be classes out here? For yes, the, for I the, mean to an extent to where like you you shouldn't have to force them. Like no, nah, we don't need them in school or nothing. But start light with like gardening, tomato. Mm -hmm. Shout out to uh Gurok Flow because he's the one that kind of opened my eyes to it. He's a African American. He has his own weed and dispensary. Okay. So shout out to that shit. But like he was like, my kids know plants. He's like, they might not know how it make you feel all yeah, this shit do, yeah. yet, but they know it's not harmful. For sure. Like you see a weed nugget around, don't eat it. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. Yeah, but, yeah. But also don't be that parent that's not smoking responsibly and putting your shit up. For sure. But like kids, no, they can learn about terpenes like mm -hmm. things that go into it that also give you different effects that mm -hmm. can be in shit your everyday water nigga they could put some lemon terps in it make yeah. it taste like lemonade or some shit like okay. that like it's other components of it that mm -hmm. you can introduce them to mm -hmm. and then gradually they yeah. be like oh this weed this shit smack yeah no for sure <laughs> you feel me sure. but it's levels because like like see because you can you can do education and you know you know about the shit you're not just smoking it do you feel like niggas 
growing up just smoking just because like they feel like oh that's the cool thing to do mm -hmm. i'm gonna smoke i see it on tv mm -hmm. or you know what i'm saying instead of really like knowing what you put inside your body and shit so it's funny because like just from the hood aspect like i just say my time at mumford niggas was blowing mm -hmm. i'm talking about probably zips pounds a week <laughs> high school kids for well, sure for what don't know but like <laughs> underline they probably had depression anxiety but we in the community don't know about shit like that at all but they were smoking for a reason they just didn't know they were smoking because it was cool and their uncles was always yep. doing that shit Hell yeah. and then they found a plug and was introduced in a way that they just consume it instead of learning mm. about it but i don't think that no high school kid needs to smoke no fucking weed. No, like, for unless sure. you got like cancer or some shit. Or, like, yeah, some real, like, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, no, nah, like you, you on the football team, you about to go, go out here and ball in the state championship. You don't need a blunt before or no. after that shit, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nor no alcohol. Yeah, like, for sure. Just, that's why it's an age limit on shit. Exactly. Um, exactly. Now you, you, how are you going about making making money with this shit, bro? Like you say, you know, what I'm saying you making money, you working, you doing this shit. Like educating people on how they can be out here making money through the whole marijuana industry. I mean. In the, on the legal side, it's it's different. You can always just go get a job, work mm. for the man, mm -hmm. but that's some bullshit. Like I realized just through life, nigga, I'm not meant to work for nobody. Yeah, I yeah. do have a, a nine to five. Don't get me wrong. Okay. It's, it's in cannabis, but that's one way to do it. But okay. I mean, shit, just the community so beautiful. Like it's people that all walks of life, different aspects. Like find your lane, be yourself. Mm -hmm. But like if you really in it for, I'm gonna say if you in it for the plant, mm -hmm. you'll find a way to make money. For sure. Because I'm gonna say I didn't get in this shit looking like oh I'm a I'm gonna get the bag off off the nine to five. Like yeah. when I'm when I'm not clocked in, I'm I'm still get paid. I didn't go into it for that. I went into it just to I'm dang that. Yeah. I, I smoke weed and I'm a great ass dad. Mm -hmm. And I really like top shelf good quality weed. I can tell you about it, but that just so happens to be who I am. Yeah. You feel me? But like if you if you good at shit planning events, if you if you got a space to plan events at, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like pull up, hit me up. Yeah, like, we can do something, we can work, but it's about finding your lane, your niche, mm. and your network. Okay, and you'll you find now, it. Though. You got the clothing lines. Are you trying to like get that in like like um, dispensaries or or right now you just you know saying sling it from the crib, sling from the crib. I got a little website. You can find it on a a lot of me. You can find on IG. Okay, um, I just got the shirts for the moment. Probably dropping a lot. Mm -hmm. in the in the fall i got like a sweatsuit you know that's okay yeah, i'm definitely gonna grab me a hoodie when it get cold oh yeah no doubt i got you mm -hmm. you gotta grab one but uh i got the you know i got the big boy sweat tiles okay. already yeah yeah we are here i got that shit <laughs> ready right now um yeah a couple little bit of merch for sure. um some shit for the ladies because they've been saying they want some, some yeah. ladies dank dad merch so it's coming I was say, now for the ladies would you change the name up no no it's gonna okay. be like some you know i love my dank dad yeah for sure, for sure for this, sure i mean i'm not the only one out here like for i don't i don't look at it like I'm dank that. Like, mm -hmm. nigga, I represent my niggas. Everybody, yeah. all walks of life. Like, if you, if you're a good individual, you're not a detriment to society. Like, mm -hmm. out here just fucking up the world. <laughs> yeah, for sure. A lot of niggas out here. You out here, you you so happen to smoke weed or you don't. Yeah. You so happen to have kids or you don't, but you taking care of your responsibilities type shit. Like, that's what I embody. For on sure. top of breaking the stigma on black men that hell smoke weed. No, for sure. For sure. Kids, you feel me? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Do you feel like weed being legal is taken away from us? I say that to say. Back in the day when it wasn't legal, we was the one kind of promoting that shit heavy. Yeah, I feel like um all the little legacy programs and all that shit was bullshit that they yeah. have like to give back. Like one, everybody who was incarcerated for should be, should be anything, home. anything, yeah. pounds, whatever. Y'all yeah. doing that shit daily. Y'all <laughs> yeah. y'all seeing a thousand customers a day. No, nah, facts. Like it's it's no reason why y'all should be banking mm -hmm. off the blood sweat and motherfucking jail time yeah. of african american no, that's a fact so it's some bullshit mm -hmm. think about a nigga like snoop dogg how much he could have benefited off of this shit being legal when he was first started rapping man if he he's probably the fucking front runner and everything yeah. like he's been around forever doing no for sure when thing. i think about weed when you, you, you think it, celebrity why you think about snoop dogg snoop <laughs> Wiz, like Cheech and Chong, like they were able to do that shit yep. back then probably Cheech and Chong and now they reaping the benefits of course i know Snoop probably he got a couple of things coming, yeah. I know, like through Death Row, I've mm -hmm. heard, and like shit like that. But he's the face of cannabis yeah. in America. Yeah, for sure. Like who, yeah. who else you know? Name other than Cheech and Chong. Yeah. Name somebody else who just been smoking weed openly. <laughs> for sure, can't think of him. Snoop. Like he he the face of it, nigga. They should they, they should partner with him off the off the rip. Off the drip. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that the first nigga, first batch should bro. have been Snoop's. Yes, though. <laughs> As all proceeds. <laughs> now, places you should go not smell like weed. Like, places you shouldn't mm -hmm. go smell like weed. I was mad, dog. My brother, <laughs> this nigga, 
we got um a cancer. Uh, we uh, so it was a can uh we a benefit for cancer and shit. We playing a basketball game and shit. Mm. And um, this I nigga, <laughs> I, that wouldn't have been my spot. Going yeah, that nigga came to a basketball game. It's kids there. It's a, it's a benefit game, and this nigga oh. smell like a pound. Mm. And I'm like, nigga, you ain't you couldn't wait to after the game. Yeah, do some edibles if you if you want to be high. Yeah. Like that's my thing. Like, did you want to be high, yeah. or you just had the urge to smoke? He just had the urge to smoke because because smoking is also just a motherfucking. It's a habit. Mm-hmm. Like doing this, mm-hmm. it's a habit. Like I'm blow. Yeah, I'm. I done lit three blunts in this. For bitch. sure. I'm, yeah, it's amazing. I'm gonna roll up another yeah. one in this. <laughs> like, <laughs> for sure, for <laughs> so it's just like that's a habit. But if I have to be high somewhere, let's say a a school, like yeah, at my child's school. Yeah, school. Like, event, don't yeah. don't be blowed there. Don't, yeah. Not, don't be, don't smell like a pound of for sure, weed. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Smoke responsibly. Yeah. Nigga, do an edible. Do a dab, yeah. bro. Like, black folks don't know about dabs. Because I also say, when you say going places to smell like weed, it's only black folks yeah. and young white men. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. that's that's about it. Now, now, now what's, a, what's a dab for a nigga who don't know like me? A dab. So, wax, concentrated. Okay. It's a concentrated form, like the sticky shit. Okay, okay, okay. Got my bag. I show you. Something. Yeah, for sure. So it's just you put that shit on like a rig. You torch it. So black folks probably stay away from concentrate dabs because it look like crack. Okay. <laughs> like yeah, you torching sure. that shit with a butane torch, yeah, or yeah. you can do like a puff. I do a puff coat, electronic rig. Okay. You just hit the button, drop it in there. Instantaneous high. Yeah, like, yeah. Like you blow it off the drip, for and sure. you don't smell like shit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, you do one of those. Like you but, mix up. That's why I like to know the different ways to consume it because okay. you can always. You, I'm high all day, yeah. <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> every fucking way. I think say every day, but yeah, you definitely shouldn't go to certain places, especially that's probably number one on the list is fucking school, school and functions, church. school and church. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. not even a school function because if that bitch predominantly outside, yeah, oh yeah, you could. <laughs> I'm sure as long as it's not in the now. What about space. when you go to basketball games and shit? Because I be going to these games, niggas. The kids coming that bitch might weed. Everybody in that bitch. As a coach, no. Yeah. Coach, you know, it's edible with my wax pen real yeah. quick. I always got a fucking pen in my pocket, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I guarantee you. I don't even, I ain't checked my shit since I got out of the car. Let's see. You got to sell me that bitch. I get, <laughs> always, got got, nigga, always got one of these bitches. Go to the bathroom real quick or something. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I'm, that's why I say like, I'm not an influencer. Yeah. I'm, I'm me. So okay. I'm a, I might influence you to do that shit, but I want you to do it the right way. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. But I'm not, not going to smoke a blunt on the way to my kids. For sure. Event type yeah, shit. Like, yeah. I'm going to smoke a blunt, then go. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, time yeah. it out. Be responsible. Yeah. Manage your day type shit. Nigga, my, my brother be smoking that bitch all the way until he gets to no, the dope, like, nigga. Like, <laughs> nigga, I see, I see people in drop off because I'm going to drop off dad. And yeah. nigga, the kids hopping out the whip. Smell and nigga like. like no nah, yeah. nigga in the front seat like have a good day. Yeah, yeah. Like no, nah, bro. Like no. Sure. Like, that would definitely not approved. That would definitely <laughs> be my brother if he had kids, though. Kid coming that bitch in elementary school, somebody like a motherfucker is cushing that bitch, though. What, what what's the, what's some advice you feel like you should uh people should have like going into like all right, I'm about to become a, a smoker. Like what should they learn? What should they do before they get into this shit? Or don't go to it assuming you're about to become a smoker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because some niggas can't handle it. Yeah. Like, what you doing it for? Mm-hmm. Are you doing it socially? That's cool. But do it responsibly. Like, know your limits. Mm-hmm. Like, know, know what you like. Start yeah. start slow and low is what I say. Like, get, go get you a gram. Yeah. Go get you a little bowl, roll that shit up, or pack it, smoke it in the crib, and see what the fuck happens. For sure. For sure. like, people like you, you gonna let your kids smoke? I, I can't stop them from doing shit. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. I was gonna ask that. Would you be... Um, what's name? If your kids come to you when they of age and talk about smoking, what's of age? Because what if that nigga come to me when he like twelve? Fuck no, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But like you come you know, to me, 18, you, 21. You, oh yeah, but roll up. I want to see. But see, I want to shit. I want to see. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I can even say this either. <laughs> I want to get my kids fucked up before they like go off to college yeah, and shit. Yeah, like in the sure. crib. Like I want yeah. you to get drunk. I want you to get blowed on for separate real. occasions. I want to see what you like, so you know how to handle yourself. Yeah. In the real world, for sure. So, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I would rather you do it with me for yeah. the first couple times. You know what I'm saying? Learn yourself, because I don't want you to be like little Becky and Lindsay Hell on yeah. the street, fucked up, wobbling, getting yeah. taken advantage of. Because that shit not yeah. cute. Uh-huh. That shit not. And then I don't want to have to go out here and kill nobody because <laughs> uh-huh. you didn't know how to handle your fucking. Self. Exactly. Now I'm in prison because because you didn't know yeah, how to handle, like sure. root cause, not a victim blamer. You didn't know how to handle your shit. Yeah. So do it with that. Mm-hmm. Like let 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 us see what happens for sure. Shit. And for then sure. my my son too. Like nigga, you light skin. You yeah. you a butterball. You yeah. don't get fucked yeah. with. Yeah. So you can't be the drunk goofy nigga out here. Bro. Yeah, so you got to be responsible, or it's not for you. Like yeah. we gonna figure out it's not for you. Cause I'm gonna say 
like kind of sweet. Yeah, I want you to come buy my shit. Of course, that's how I get paid. Yeah. But if it's not for you, don't force yourself. For like, sure. Nigga, like yeah, y'all, like he was like, nah, bro. Yeah. I respect that shit. Now yeah. I might accidentally do it again. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just a habit. Yeah, just yeah, a habit. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not gonna force you to do shit. Now you take it. I'm. Be like, Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, you show? Sure? Yeah, sure. <laughs> but yeah. it might be a little too late because yeah. I I accidentally <laughs> get everybody to smoke. No, like, for that's sure. My superpower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I didn't have basketball practice, I'd do that shit because I'd be high all day in the summer. Yeah, we um, my uh, my cousin um she got AU team, so I kind of help out. That's lit. That's lit. Yeah. Oh, so you deep in it. Yeah, but I like being the head. I got the head man. Like you know, what I'm saying I, when you fall to the system, oh, I don't know how to be assistant. Like <laughs> that's the relationship keeper. Yeah, like that's the one you keep the kids hype. You For make sure. sure they yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Hey, I mean, you doing good, man. Come on, shit. come on, man. But then you like you you really cool with the bench players because yeah. I realize because I've been both. I've been yeah. assistant and the head, same team. Yeah, totally fucking different. Okay, like I can be harder on them niggas because they're not looking to me for. For sure, for like all the advice, yeah. they still gonna go to the head, listen to him. But I can give you little tidbits. For but sure, as the head, you got to be straight on. Like yeah. you can't. The sister coach is like that cool uncle, <laughs> which everybody you know needs. For sure, like, for sure. Like you nigga, damn head coach ain't gonna let me get away with that shit. But the sister gonna be like, like yeah, like like nigga, I, I know you don't have asthma. <laughs> like, like nigga, I, I know that inhaler excuse for some bullshit. But yeah, guess right. what? I'm I'm gonna let it slide because I was sure. you, little nigga. For sure, you sure. the best player on the team. I yeah, I, yeah. I can't sit you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. so you going back? You going back and coaching this school year? Oh man. So if they give me the head from the drip, so I was I was the assistant like two years ago. Okay. First year like back since COVID, so they were trying to start it up. I love mm -hmm. helping out, but then this year I wasn't involved at all, and then the head coach quit like three games in because it's East Side little yeah. kids, little, little niggas. Yeah, like you, you know. gotta know how yeah, to tolerate. Yeah. No, for real. So he quit, and I just couldn't like leave him dry, mm -hmm. like quitting three games in the season. So I went back and did it. But if I could get like a a full time, like you let me start practice, like let me hold my own tryouts, yeah, and practicing sure. before sure. the first game of the season, like yeah. not in no week time, like yeah. maybe like a month, yeah, sure. But if it's like on some humbug, no, I'd, yeah. I'd rather get like full range for sure, yeah. Because I was out, I, I was there. That they almost having me come out. I've I've been a head coach for since what I've been doing this shit since 2016, mm. and then when COVID hit, um, I was at Jefferson Douglas on Helen and um, what's that, Nevada. I was mm -hmm. over there, and uh, they had got a new AD. He wanted to bring his own people in, so cool. So I was coaching. My dog at Academy of Warren, who's the uh, athletic director, like, bro, I want you to come over here because he knew me from previous school. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm like, man, he's like, dog, come on. You're going to be a head coach. But then I get there. This other nigga said he head coach. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Cause... <laughs> so two games in, he, he this nigga missed the first game, so he won. <clears throat> Second game, we won. And then, like, I'm going to practice, and I'm like, I got whole practice plans, and this nigga in that mud is on his phone, not doing nothing. So, nigga, so my man was like, I'm like, bro, are you going to give me head coach of money then? Yeah. And you get him the assistant money. And he was like, no, you're going to be a head coach now. Like, I'm going to demote him. So he came in that business the next day hating, like, what up, head coach? I'm like, Hello. yeah, nigga, I was doing every fucking thing. In <laughs> like, so the other day I was in that mud working out with the girls and shit, dog. And, yeah, man, being a head coach is, yeah, dog, like, that's that's cool for me, bro. So. It's, I mean, I'd rather be a leader for sure. Yeah, for sure. Because I'm not saying I'm. The, you never want to be the smartest nigga in the room, but yeah. it's like if you look in a room and you just can tell that you you got it. Yeah. Might as well take it. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell Ain't yeah. no point following a nigga who not gonna get you to where you want to be. For sure. If Fast. you if you like, I'm confident, motherfucker. Some might call it call it cocky. Mm -hmm. It's just confidence. Like no. I hate that shit. Hell, hell cocky yeah. Cocky, arrogant. Like no, nah, nigga, I believe in me, bro. That's with, with my cousin team because she do middle school and then she do high school. So the high school. Of course, I'm an assistant because my, my son played for high school too. And it was, I hate niggas will be cocky but be trash. Like it's cool to have confidence, but nigga, know that know your like nigga, you're not that good, bro. Know like, yourself. Yeah, like nigga, this nigga came that bitch. Nigga, we we telling what defense set up in, dog. This nigga just cause we we couldn't match up. Niggas tall as fuck, so go into a zone. Then nigga, all right, niggas just like this. I'm like, motherfucker, move. <laughs> like nigga sat down, then we got to a whole shower match. Um I don't know who's wrong, dog. My cousin or uh, the his mom, but they was on the scoreboard. They was on the scoreboard, so we can our ass beat by this Windsor team. Nigga, they beating our ass. Like they beating our ass with the super fundamentals too. Like, <laughs> like it's it's, a, it's like It'd be the worst. No, we lose by like 25, 30 at the, at the point. So he's sitting on the bench, laughing. Two of the niggas, she get mad as fuck. Take my jersey off, nigga. Like thirty seconds, game about to be over. Mm -hmm. So the mama right there, she mad. So she like, I don't think that was, you know, saying call for it. whatever, whatever. So I, so then she like, I'll talk to you at the game. She's like, no, that's bullshit. This is that third, bitch. 
<laughs> and then her, her husband like little real and shit. So he all like calling her bitch as he as he walking out. He waited till he got to the door and called her about five bitches and mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this shit is is a is the softest shit ever, bro. But Man. I say it to say, when you coaching, bro, you gotta have like, bro, like you gotta Boys. have some comments to you because you're gonna have some stupid parents. Nigga, we got in a brawl. Man. I hope we got into a whole brawl. Uh-huh. Parents and everything. Bro, with it's, kids. It's never that serious, dog. Never. I'm like, dog, like your kid got dropped. Own Man. that shit. Like, just break it up. Don't, hit, sure. the, don't it. hit the kid. Yeah, yeah. In, in middle Teach school. Your kid how to squabble, nigga. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we wouldn't be in this situation. Exactly. Root cause, nigga, yeah. again. Yeah. Like, shit. Dog, that shit is funny, bro. This, this is my, I can't say way into this, but from that, but street weed <laughs> versus legal weed. Did you like it back when you could just go to the streets and you heard that motherfucking Tootie over there had the weed and shit like? I mean, no. Nah, from that perspective, legal <laughs> weed, like okay. just getting it securely. Okay. Like everybody comfortable. Like for sure. Got ninety three year old ladies yeah. walking in. It ain't bitch. scary and shit. Got goes my house. And, and then <laughs> I never really got my shit like that. I might have okay. had one guy. I might have got it from like yeah. that. But yeah. like we never met up. Just like on some. Yeah, it what was up? some what yeah, up, my yeah. nigga? Like, how you been? Like, you good, bro? How, yeah. the, how the people? Because my weed man ended up becoming like family. Okay, for sure. I have plugs. Yeah. I didn't have like the nickel and dime. I'm not about to yeah. just smoke an eighth type yeah, yeah. shit. So, so eighth is uh, is that that's considered a dime? A, no, what? so a dime is ten. So okay. that's, that's a gram. So okay, but like, you, yeah, school me. I don't mean no one's that'd be, that'd be like one, <laughs> maybe one point zero. So yeah. a gram is usually what you get in like just a dime bag. Okay, right. For sure. So then this. Per se would be a three point five. Okay, and a you know quarter of seven grams for sure. For a sure. half is yeah. fourteen, and then yeah, because my my, my brother be saying shit like man, I don't know what the fuck that is, nigga. It's just math. Yeah, I, I, like, I love numbers too. Yeah, so like I, I sure. do the fuck out some math. Like, yeah, you got how much? Like oh, okay, is it yeah. a pound? Okay, for pound, sure. pound four forty eight. Yeah, four fifty four depending on where you at. So yeah. you know you. Yeah. It, it just it's cool. It's it, numbers. Is it's, it pointless to even be a nigga who sell street weed? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> hey, people still look for them. You talking about like today? Yeah. I mean, would you so like the nigga that's had to guess? Like, hey, bro. Oh, this I, got, I got I got one of those like a couple weeks ago. I pulled up. I heard with them in a minute, dog. Man, I was like, what? They still do that shit. He's like, yeah, I got I got uh, twenty dollars one seven. So I was like, oh, that's steep yeah. for the day because you can go to some dispensaries and get a zip for yeah. seventy dollars. Yeah. So like that's that yeah. 20, st- 25 more grams is yeah. you still get three weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. why not? But but I say like it's something that's smart. You go to the dispensary, get one of them deals, and then go flip your street weed. Okay. And then it's always gonna be that nigga at Chrysler. That, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. I'm not giving out the game. This ain't shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, it's it's always gonna be that person that has for sure. the extra bag. Oh yeah. Them, so. Now, dog. Before we end everything, dog, gotta talk about the podcast, dog. Gas Talk Podcast. Gas talk. You and your boy, uh, what's his name? Again? Spencer. 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 Talk about that, bro. Like, cause I remember when um. I first started looking at your, at your uh, Instagram. You had the solo podcast. I did. I did. You know so, what I'm saying? Remember, uh, I told you I was the wife having people at the crib. Like, for that sure. just wasn't it. Makes so sense. I was like, you know, I'm not, I didn't put, I kind of put it on hold. It's not dead for sure. I'm mm-hmm. just waiting for to get the right, you know, studio set up. For sure. Yeah. And kick that back up. But Gas Talk, um, bro, hit me up. So we worked at the same spot, the first dispensary I worked at, like in the game. It kind of got me, like, in the cannabis mm-hmm. game. Um, we both worked there at separate times and both got fired, both so, let go type shit. I didn't get fired. <laughs> yeah. I put in my two weeks and never went back. Yeah, it's yeah, different. yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, the nigga way. Um, yeah. yeah, he hit me up. He was like, because he was a guest on Dank Dad. One episode. Just, yeah, he was yeah. a guest on the episode. We kicked it. We got, you know, cool. And he was like, yeah, I got an idea. We just talk about, you know, more concise, just more kind of focused on Michigan cannabis. And I was like, that's kind of dope, bro. Mm-hmm. So it's it's been gone. We started like what february yeah just dropped episode 15 so you know for sure not as not as consistent as you yeah, you know yeah, we, yeah. we'll get to we'll get to yeah. one one something sorry one y'all just with this podcast y'all trying to just you know saying school with people you know saying teaching people yes. what's going on because i what the fuck is 17 i didn't know what that was 17 is a is a cannabis holiday so it's okay. oil backwards O I L 17 okay. yeah um it's just a day like concentrate wax i was telling you about mm-hmm. a little bit earlier like yeah. that's just you get crazy deals at stores like you'll sure. get 10 grams so usually a gram like a good gram the ones i smoke occasionally it's like mm-hmm. 50 to 70 dollars for, for sure for one hell yeah but on days like 17 you get like four four hundred okay like they do crazy deals so yeah. like other there are other qualities of it too you get like 10 for 100 yeah because i just knew about 
four twenty because you know everybody talk about that flower day. Yeah, okay. so it's, it's two. It's you know all in the same family. But for that's sure. like your other cousin birthday. For sure, like for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now with this, with the podcast, is there anything that you want to you know saying get out of this? Are you looking for you know saying sponsorships? Are you looking for deals? You looking for to get picked up? Like what's the goal with the podcast? I mean, it's it's really gonna go wherever it go. But yeah. like for the moment, we just we focusing on pretty much updating, just keeping people up to date because everybody don't get like cannabis news like there's no mm-hmm. way to really market it for sure but we just like i do it for the people bro yeah. like I, I do this shit for fun like do i get paid from it maybe none yeah. of your fucking business <laughs> but um <laughs> like sponsor, sponsor we got a couple sponsorships shout for out sure. to everybody that's like you know gave us some flower gave us some merch because of course you know we're just getting the word out mm-hmm. just another outlet but i'm just i feel like my my avenue in this cannabis game because it's all so new like mm-hmm. it's really just bringing community together because so- i'm Really tired of seeing like high school bullshit. Yeah, yeah. We so, still in the hood. We got phones over here, dog. Because oh, <laughs> uh, my yeah, her <laughs> landline that motherfucker, dog. Uh, my producer, he got you know, saying a bourbon and whiskey podcast. Mm-hmm. So shit, nigga, it, it got me hip. So that's why I stopped drinking like the Hennessy's we was talking about and started. Yeah, man, it's a lot better shit out. Yeah, because bourbon and whiskey shit, you can find good cheap bourbon and whiskey. You know what I'm saying? And you realize like when niggas smoking cigars and. Bourbon whiskey, that's like business deal drinks and shit Man, like that's that. Like, million dollar deals going down. Like you see that shit. That's like, oh, you should have been in that room. Or you want to sure. be in that room. For sure. So. Now with now with the with the individual podcast, how would you go about picking guests? Was it niggas who were just strictly smokers? Or was it just um no, so that one I was kind of like curating it to like help get them out there, like just mm-hmm. give them a platform to talk that shit. Cause I'm not saying I'm the most popular guy by any stretch of the imagination, but sure. like I just I know people. Like yeah. I didn't I didn't been around the city, I didn't been around, you know, Michigan. Mm-hmm. And I just love putting on like showing love. Like mm-hmm. how you do the flower thing. Like if you got a business, you don't mind coming on smoking a blunt. Yeah. You so happen to be a father. We talk about some parent shit. Mm-hmm. We talk about some life shit. We talk about your shit. For you sure. know, just a good time. Hell yeah. Just Hell yeah. Just another outlet shit, dog. Do you feel like yeah. these other outlets in the city, they don't show love until everybody else show love? Like I feel like my well, my shit. I go looking for like good shit. I go look for good people. You feel me? I'm not just going with the popular shit. Like, oh, that's a popular podcast. Let me go ahead and talk about it. like Sherelle. At the time when Sherelle came on, she probably had like 200 followers. 200 followers you know what I'm saying? Like but that shit organic is fucking yeah. all 200. Fuck with for it. sure. Like, like it's different. You got you can have 5,000 followers, but out of those 5,000 followers, you get 50 likes. What is that? <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah, you that's know what I'm cool. saying? I ain't saying like your shit bothered or it's not cool, but it's like. Yeah. Is it is it real? For is sure. it like real love type shit? And it's yeah. like it'll grow. Yeah. And it's not even trying to like catch on to the way before you catch on. It's just seeing some shit that's real. Yeah. So I feel like that's that's dope as fuck that you for that you do that. Yeah, and for sure. The other podcast is like that's just them. Yeah. Like hopefully you just being you not trying to just do it for the clout because for sure. Me personally, I don't fuck with nothing just for the clout. Like yeah. if I like it, I like it. If I don't, and yeah. but if I fuck with you, yeah, like because it's organic, yeah. because I know you a good person. I yeah. give you, I give Bro, you all the shout outs I can. Me and this nigga, like, we was talking about that, man. Like, I ain't, nigga, I ain't met and got cool with people off this podcast that I would have never had. Nigga, you done no had idea. Some legends on this, you know what I'm saying? No you idea, bro. Popping folks on this bitch. You just had everybody. Yeah, because I always want my shit to be a balance. I want my shit to have people that's gonna come up. So then you could look like, damn, I remember when such such didn't, you know what I'm saying? They had no deal or something sure, like that. Sure. Or people that's already up there. Like, I want to be a balance. I don't want, I feel like when you got podcasts, if you just going directly, Towards the popular people mm-hmm. that once you run out and then you grab those people up, it's gonna look a little funny. Like it's, it's different if you're a celebrity, like all the smoke. Oh, for sure. Shit. Like yeah, that's gonna that's get, a yeah. total different yeah. ball game. Yeah. Like, bro, we we kicking it, bro. We for chilling. Sure. Like this is the first time I met you, like in yeah. in person type shit. Yeah. And it's just a vibe. You for feel sure. me? Like we're yeah. not we're not stressing it. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, feel like sure. them them shits don't be because like you watch some, you watch them, you give yeah. me a view or whatever, but then it'd be like little gaps where it's like cringy. Yeah, <laughs> like bro, and that's why I made <laughs> Bro, I had one episode that could have went that way, but you gotta you gotta do your homework when you listen to your podcast and what and go wrong. Like you can't have too many pockets of like it being dead time. Like I learned like when I give a, a question or right, and expect the answer and then take a little long, crack a joke you in between. Feel that shit. Say yeah, something you gotta cause you gotta think about that nigga who has, who had work that's listening. Master your crap. Yeah, so you now while we both fall, I'm like just dead, like dun 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 because <laughs> I remember I had like that's why I don't really, really like talking to people under 21 because no shit. experience. Yeah. No like life. I get lucky sometimes like, damn, this motherfucker been here before or something. But then I had like one or two times. It was like, 
I had grown ass nigga as a bitch and was like, this nigga was too cool to talk. The uh niggas. Yeah, like, yeah. like damn this nigga. Like, then my chain do all <laughs> like damn, show. bro. Like, and that's when you gotta come in and say some stories that you probably already told and shit, right. dog. Just to, yeah, and and then like the repeat, like trying not to repeat for sure stories and shit. And yeah, coming up with not even coming up, but just yeah. curating. How was you uh prepping for uh, people on your show? Man, I do I do my research. Like, mm-hmm. of course, like social media teaches you a fucking lot. Mm-hmm. Like, but then I mean, once you learn a nigga government name, he yeah, can he can sure. look up a bunch. Of yeah, stuff. I was gonna say I ain't gonna so, say a government on that motherfucker though. Nah, I mean, niggas know it. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> you, but, you got some you got some twins that you relate to, Chad and Craig. Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, only child from my mama, and I got the because <laughs> <No, 'cause> they got <laughs> the same last name. <laughs> Chad. Really? Then they Chad Craig though. They was uh, what you call those twins that don't look exactly alike? Fraternal Fraternal. twins. Fraternal. Yep. So nigga, they be like, we twins. Like nigga, y'all shit like. It's crazy. Other than the ones I know with my last name in the yeah. city. Yeah. Oh, shit in Michigan. Yeah. Nigga, I don't, I don't know none of them. Good old Chad and Craig. That's crazy. You got your mom or your dad last night? Ma. My okay. daddy was a Johnson. So I, everybody <laughs> was motherfucking cousin. <laughs> <so. laughs> Where is the justice all related, dog? Bruh, and Thompson's. Yeah, for all sure. Of them niggas, Hell bro. yeah. Charles to my stepbrother, Charles Thompson, this bitch, dog. See? <laughs> <laughs> like, you always know somebody with that last name, bro. For real, for real. We get to the end, man. I do. Um, you, Of course, you know about making a band. Like, that's when Diddy, you know, picked his oh, little yeah, band yeah. shit. But I want your making a band of Hall of Fame weed smokers who you would love to have a session with, y'all. Just five Including of Including me. Yep, yep. So you, there's four, just five others. You and four others. Me and four others. And just have a lit ass <laughs> smoking session, dog. Damn. So it's mm, mm. dead or alive. Mm. <laughs> that just got rough. <laughs> so I, I feel like Mike Tyson can blow. Yeah. Like I, oh, I feel like sure. he, because shit, you carry around a kilo of coke, yeah. personal. <laughs> like weed ain't shit. That's just a pastime. I want to see how hot so so shit might. <laughs> We is for sure. I'm gonna throw Barack in there. Hell yeah, you know how they be smoking. He, he used and to smoke then, or whatever. Man, I know, I know he be been spread presidential, bro. He for don't sure. smoke no bullshit. Hell like, yeah, they got that good motherfucker. And then we come with diamonds in it, dude. Man, so you say you, Barack, Me, Barack Mike, and we is so far. Nope, Snoop. Oh, you say Snoop? Snoop, no, we Oh, bad. okay, Snoop is so okay. Snoop. Okay, so who that fifth? Mm. You, Snoop, Barack, and Mike. I want to say Seth Rogen. Okay. But yeah. I, the fifth one, ah, damn, I'm, I'm probably go Seth. I might, I might fuck around and have like an honorable mention. Go, what was the honorable mention? I don't know. I okay. might think of it, but I know yeah. it's like that's not a lot. For sure. So that, for sure. That'd be it for now, though. Hell yeah. Hell. Duh, my mom, I wish my mom was alive so I could ask her this shit. Like she, her and my dad used to do this shit, dog. They used to roll, they used to get a whole bunch of weed, bro, and just stuff it in the motherfucking corn husk. Mm-hmm. And they, 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 whatever they was doing, they let the corn husk sit for a couple of days. Then they do that shit. That bitch be like that fucking big, bro. And they roll that bitch. And they roll that motherfucker. Then they use the little corn husk to, to tie it up to keep it lit. And they will smoke this motherfucking shit all day. I just remember the shit. And when they got high off that shit, I get, I got whatever I wanted mm-hmm. too. Like just they probably to get, put a good zip in that, bitch. bro. They used to be going ham. And then nigga. I, I remember, nigga, one time they did that shit. I had ordered Royal Rumble and shit. Mm. Nigga got a motherfucking pizza. We stayed across the street for Domino. Hell yeah. Like 2499 combo. Boy, you had a good ass dog, day. Just so I can leave him alone, bro. It's like, can go ahead and smoke, dog. Man. They was on motherfucking couch Barry, nigga. Like, oh, they ain't do shit all day. Hell yeah. That's crazy. All right, man, we get to the end, man. Top three. Okay. i give you something. You give me your top three. All right, bet. All right. Top three childhood celebrity crushes. Yeah. Kyla Pratt. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. I still love her. Man. Um, Pitt, how's he? Kelly Rowland to this day. Yeah. Me, me and my brother got to an argument because this nigga swear Beyonce a little better. I'm like, nigga, nah. fuck you. Fuck <laughs> chocolate. Hell yeah. I die. And uh, <clears throat> Jill Scott. Jill Scott? Okay. Hell yeah. Jill Scott, when she was doing that shit with the mic, nigga, I got, I got turned mm-hmm. on. I, ain't gonna, I, was, I was at the crib watching that shit like, <laughs> I got turned on, nigga. I'm like, oh, shit, Jill looking good with that motherfucking mouth. Jill? Man. Yeah. Like, I, Never. I bet Jill go to work though. I bet she you know do. Jill go to work. Nigga. I bet she do. Without yeah. a goddamn dog. And she might cook some good for you. She might smell like, good. You, what you want? A sandwich? Yeah. I just, just picture her smelling good too, nigga. Cocoa like. butter. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Man. She for sure a cocoa butter lady, dog. For sure. Hell yeah. Shout out to Jill Scott, Fucking dog. Big Glock. Hell yeah. All over, nigga. Greasy. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh shit, yeah, Jill Scott, dog. Shout out to Jill, Jilly mm-hmm. Jill, and shit, dog. Give me your top three snacks when you high. Snacks? Yep. Um, I love a good Oreo. Okay. Probably, I probably go golden. Okay. Because I won't smash too many of them. Yeah, like, for I sure. I do like a good like six, seven. For sure. But like a regular Oreo, I'm fucking. Yeah, whole you go eat that whole. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, golden Oreo, man, a good uh. White cheddar cheese, it I want to say. Yep, uh, yep. Them bitches be good. I love white cheddar. Hell yeah, smack. For um, sure. Hell yeah, nigga. Because like them bitches, when you eat them bitches, you can't stop. You can't. You don't stop. Yeah. You got to get like the little individual bags. Sure. So you just bang that. Bitch. Yeah, hell so, yeah, for sure. Multi packs. Um, and then like some a nice high snack. Um, you ever had a, a dirt pie? Dirt pie, no. So it's um ground up Oreos. I, okay. love, I fuck with Oreos clearly. For sure. Yeah, I see um, it. I prefer chocolate. So like chocolate. Um. Jello, okay, and then gummy worms. Damn, sticking out the top. <laughs> yeah, that bitch mad. That's like some hot shit right there, for real. For real. <laughs> Give me your top three moments in life. Shit, top three moments in life. Um, getting married. Okay, having my kids. Can I put that as one? For sure, for sure. That could be yeah. a package deal. That's a package deal for sure. Um, mm, damn, number three. Yeah, shit get hard. He's saying he's a start. good life. I just gotta pick some. Yeah, you feel me? Top three moments in life. Shit, I, I would. I, shit, I'll say just hearing your story, nigga. Maybe getting fired. Dog. <laughs> like nah, for real. Just to some, like to sum that shit up, because I'd be like my life, nigga. Like you feel me? So yeah, that, that's damn. That's a good. One. Yeah, because yeah, shit, so, like you said, that shit got you in rooms and with people <laughs> that you never, you know, what I, that? nigga. I wasn't doing nothing but going home. <laughs> I had taken a shower. <laughs> if, if I wasn't too tired, just smoke sure. a blunt, nigga. I smoke a blunt. I go to sleep through that shit the same day, six Yo, days a week. No, so, man. Damn, yeah, damn. That shit changed my life for sure. Top three TV shows. My wife and kids. Hell yeah, that's a, that's a shit, boy. Damn, miss that show. Hulu. Hmm. Hulu. Oh yeah, I'm just missing being oh, new. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, my wife and kids. Need shows like that, man. We ain't got no good shows no more. Mm, for real. Boondocks. Okay. Hell yeah. Man, I'm I'm currently fucking with suits. Okay. I'm watching that shit. But I'm I heard that shit straight. It's straight. I'm probably go Sons of Anarchy. Okay, okay. Was you a snowfall dude? You watch Snowfall? I still try to get this dude to watch Snowfall, bro. That last episode I cried. A sexy chocolate nigga like me. <laughs> yeah, Come so I, on, man. I was I, think I cried that last episode. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. That shit was man, it was a thug was... tear, nigga. Like, damn. Like this I, how, bro? I probably watched that last scene, already, nigga, already probably already about died. nigga. I probably watched that last scene about 20 times, nigga, that same day, nigga. I kept going back and watch that shit, dog. That shit hurt me, nigga. Oh, let me ask you this, because we always had this debate, bro. Was Wayne Brothers a good TV show? Wayne Brothers? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, it, it doesn't matter if it's a good TV show. It's a staple. Yeah. Like, and when you put it up with, like... So, no, it's not in the tier of Fresh Prince, Martin, yeah. shit for, like that. For sure. But for sure. I respect that. You definitely let that bitch play it's like, all, it's, it's tier all, two. Yeah, a good tier three. Cause you let it play. <laughs> you, you let it play and you'd fall asleep on it at night. No, no, no. That's, that's yeah, my shit. Would. Yeah, you would. That's what if, my favorite no, show is. I ever. still can recall every episode. I love yeah, Pops. For like, sure. He made see, that and, and see, that's why I hate when niggas say that. <laughs> he said that Wayne Brothers be trash. He said the only thing that held Wayne Brothers that was Pops. Besides, if Pops was there, it'd be a nigga super trash. Mm. So for them two to have a show, like you can deal with them two yeah. in movies. Great movie, brother. Scary yeah. movie franchise, all that shit. Yeah. But every week, that like, cause I watch shit in in like spurts, for sure, so like episodes at a time, not just one. Yeah. Back then, when you just watching one episode, nigga, yeah. we don't have no Netflix. Yeah, we wasn't sure. watching yeah, three, yeah. four of them bitches. Cause I'm not, I'm not streaming marathon and Wayne Brothers. <laughs> right, I tell you that, I'm not. But I do that shit with Fresh Prince, all the no, for sure. So, yeah, yeah, but yeah. back then it was a good. So back then it was a good two right. for sure. For sure, good right. tier two. Still fall asleep on that bitch. <laughs> Give me your top top three foods. Tacos. Okay, hell yeah. This is in no particular. None of this has been in any particular order. The yeah. three. They just you yeah. Know. Um, tacos. I've been fucking with these ice cream sandwiches lately. Oh, I fuck ice cream sandwiches up. Well, you saying top three? Just top three. Um, okay. Tacos, red lobster biscuits, just the biscuits. <laughs> hell yeah, bitches. And um, bitches be slapping. Them bitches are phenomenal. And then you ever had Eddie's gourmet? Mm-mm. And this is spot out in Oak Park, okay. a little, little hole in the wall. Mm-hmm. Get you some uh, some zip pasta. Yeah, that shit, shit good as hell. Man, yeah. I I wouldn't give my kids up for like a tub <laughs> of just the fucking like sauce, yeah. nigga, but that shit's so good. Duh, that shit it. good as fuck. Give me your top three hoopers now. Luca, 
Okay. Joker. Okay. Top three. Thank you. I don't like this super team shit. Luca fat ass got it done. That nigga gets it done. Though. Yeah. You can't say he ain't gonna get you. 36. Joker big ass got it done. That, uh, completely. That nigga can't like, he... jump off nigga two two inches off the ground. Nigga be and killing niggas, murdering. <laughs> I probably go Giannis. Giannis for sure. That's crazy how like the Europeans that took over the fucking game. There, it's not even that they're so the first the, shit. None of them play defense yeah. except Giannis, but who, he's he's just such a freak. Damn, who was the last American uh, MVP? Steph. Yep. No. Cool. No. Was somebody after that? Yeah, it was. Because you got this past year, you had uh Embiid. Embiid. Before that, Joker, you had Joker, Joker. two. Yep, Joker, Joker. Giannis. Giannis. Oh, James Harden. James Harden right before Giannis. Steph. No, it was Giannis. It was, it was, it was yep. Because Steph uh, got those back to back. Yep. Because yep. he he the James first one Harden who got, got in there. Yeah, he won. Kevin Durant probably. Yep. Yep. And then Russ, time. Russell Westbrook got that when he had triple double average triple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But the last person was James Harden because I remember that shit. He had the worst motherfucking MVP speech ever in life, and he had the worst <laughs> outfit on, nigga. I'm like that shit was trash. But uh, we end everything off drunk moment, high moment, or cocaine. It's a funny story when you were drunk, high, or off cocaine. Well, I've never done the third. <laughs> Knowingly, yeah. Um, I got so many high moments, bro. Shit, drunk moments. Do, do, do you drink? Because most weed smokers don't drink. So no, nah, not not as much. Okay, like, but I guess I switch it up since I done talked about yeah. cannabis the whole time. Um, <laughs> see, this was my. <coughs> yeah, this is the first time I didn't cough. I, I was wondering if he coughed until he smoked. Nigga. <laughs> nigga smoked three four blunts. Ain't coughed at all. Nigga. Like. This nigga for real. This nigga, <laughs> nigga got some good lungs. Nigga pause. <laughs> yeah. Um, shit, my twentieth birthday, bro. Okay. So my man's had an apartment. I want to say it's like mid time by that big ass Sunoco gas station. For sure, for right sure. Across the street. Yeah. So um, it was me, my homie, and then little Kev. So little Kev was a nigga I met at school. Everybody got little Kev. Everybody got little Kev. <laughs> so little Kev was the king of having just women around, right? Yeah. But none of them were over. A, seven yeah for sure and he was the king of like fours through sevens <laughs> but somehow somehow bro I always had about 12 of them yeah you'd be like hey kid pull up bring some girls yeah you know he so, for sure brings so, up. you know it was me my man's we there chilling we getting drunk kind of tidying up and shit bro i get so smacked i got so smacked before they even got there right yeah so about about 20 20 girls pulled up i have no idea who these 20 all four four fours and sevens Foes do seven, bro. <laughs> Foes do seven. So then a couple of my college homegirls pull up and they like, what the fuck going on? I'm in the bathroom hugging the toilet, bro. I got a bottle of Hennessy and shit. Yeah. They, they got a picture of this shit, me just hugging the toilet. They like, nah, nigga, this ain't it. They, yeah. ca- they call my wife, oh, my, my now wife, right? Yeah, they like, yeah. come get this nigga. She was down in Motor City or some shit. She a little bit older. So For sure. I was only 20, bro. All I know is I woke up in Livonia yeah. and her mama there. Yeah. She like happy birthday. I'm like, the <laughs> fuck going on, dog? <laughs> oh, so you don't remember nothing? You just I don't remember her coming to get me. My car was there with my keys, nigga. Yeah. My bag that I had packed because I knew Bro. I was getting fucked up. But I yeah, you know, I was that up, right? <laughs> I don't remember. She like you remember any of them bitches? I'm like, what bitches? Like <laughs> she like them twenty bitches that was there that oh, I came man. and get. I'm like, no, she what? But she she went to work. Yeah. So I woke up. Her mama was just there. I'm like. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she talking about. You know, you, I'm still fucked up. Yeah. I'm just up. Nigga. I'm like, I don't want to be here. You still wait for little I'm, care bitches. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, dog, like this. And that's probably like really what probably pushed me towards Duh. only fucking smoking because I don't see like, yeah, I drove your car home. She like, I parked, she like, I carried you in the house. She like, you threw up in my bathroom. I'm like, I don't remember none of this shit. Hold on, dog. So what, what made them call your girl and, and, the, like, so, all these girls? The, <laughs> so we weren't like exclusive, okay, but okay, they okay. Pro- they knew, shout out to them, that I probably wasn't trying to fuck that up. Yeah. And me being at my birthday bash with up. 20 bitches. I'm yeah. already pilt. Yeah. I'm talking about, I, I barely remember them being yeah, there because yeah. they just, they tell me all this, you know, to about to damn 10 years ago, yeah. you know, I'm, I put it all together yeah. and it's like, whew, yeah. I was, I was gone. I'm like, what happened to my boy? Yeah. Like. <laughs> they like that nigga was in the kitchen and he was just sitting Duh. at the table. I'm like, was he drinking, rolling up? Like, he was just sitting there because we had been smoking, drinking, but yeah. like we had what the fuck was we drinking? This had to be what 2013, 20 
So yeah, what was popular Damn. back then? Niggas drinking. Yeah. Hennessy. Pinnacle. <laughs> nah, for real. That was a Am- drink. Amsterdam. Am- oh yeah. Captain Morgan. Yeah. Like it was a whole smorgasbord, bro. So it's it wasn't no telling what my liver looked like back Duh, then. So I was shit. just like, I'm thankful that they caught her and she left Motor City because I guess she was out with her homegirls because everybody birthday for sure. the same time as mine. And yeah. she was like, yeah, all right. And yeah. dropped her off and she came and was like, I, I don't remember leaving. Duh. I don't remember leaving. Yeah, I had that I had that shit happen to me, dude. For real, <laughs> for real. So yeah, that's that's a drinking story. Man, man this nigga that bitch hugging the porcelain god. Nigga. Dog, when you hug that motherfucker toilet, it feels so it feels good because so it's so cold. It's like refreshing. Hey, have you ever have you ever had to hug a nigga like it's like I can get through this? I'll yeah. be all right. Duh, <laughs> that's it. That shit could broke y'all broke y'all up, nigga. But she, she a real one. It's a movie. Cause, yeah, cause some chicks would have been like, nigga, oh hell no, twin like, girl. You, like, what are you doing? What you about to do? It's your birthday. You have a friend. You know, yeah, like, yeah, I had like, like two, three homies. It was only like, it was the ratio of women to me. No, I'm, like I'm laughing about to one. I'm laughing about the whole little Kev shit, dog. Like, so I nigga go after the mids, like, nigga, bro, little Kev, so little Kev, nigga, bro, he cool, bro. Dude. Might have halitosis, might not. I don't yeah. know, but so it's like just how he does it is amazing to me. I, I, bro, little Kev, you my dog, I love you, bro. But anyway, I'm about to talk shit about you. Um. So he does his thing. He got glasses, and he all he's, instead of just wearing them bitches, bro. He always like, duh. And he'd be like this, but he's like fucking five foot one, bro. He just be like, like he'd be looking down at you. I'm like, nigga, look up. That's that grandma look, look, nigga. You got the glasses like, on. Hey, but look, look here. He always he stay strapped with some bitches, bro. So. Duh, that shit funny as hell. Shout out to little motherfucking kid with the mids and shit, duh. <laughs> nigga got the mid Air Ones in this bitch, duh. And who still work? Who rock? And never, niggas, niggas never rock the mid Air Ones. <laughs> I never rode no right at the hot top sheets. Unless my mama bought them for me. Like, yeah. like she just was like, I got you some shoes. I got some white ones. Oh, I bet, man. It's like, damn. <laughs> Remember when niggas was rocking the S dot cards? Hell yeah. Man. Nigga, I was so mad. My son, mom. Want some S dot cards? I bought them from, and that motherfucker never wore them. Nigga, you know how hard that was to get that shit when I was young. Nigga, like I'm broke as hell. Nigga, I'm bought you some S dots. Nigga, like hundred sixty dollars. Yeah, hey, you plus tax. And then I remember I bought my my little girlfriend some shoes at the time. And then her her sister wearing them. Like, what the fuck, man? Fuck y'all. Community, community shoe. <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. I used to ask me and my nigga Reds used to be sharing these motherfucking Jordan sixes all the time. Nigga, you get all mad. Nigga, I, I don't. Man, as fuck. You wearing a bitch's snake? Ah, nigga. I don't down niggas for sharing shoes. Yeah, we was definitely sharing shoes. Like Night, I mean, 10th grade, 11th grade, when they were sharing them bitches, nigga. As long as you don't fuck them up, bro. Yeah. You gotta pay me my half. Huh? Yeah, I fucked this Black Air Force once up, nigga. I forgot to bring my shoes to the gym. You know they making them bitches waterproof now? Man, for real? <laughs> man, they about to be sliding in the, in the rain, man. Duh. <laughs> Duh, it's Look out. As hell, dog. But no, nah, bro. Where can they uh, find you at, dog? They want to go ahead and tap in with you as far as the podcast or just merch or just nigga you. Uh, shit, just me. Tap in. Get your phones out right now. Open that other uh screen up. Thank Dad three one three on mm-hmm. all platforms, mainly Instagram. I do message back. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to tap into the podcast, it's Gas Talk one word, period. The podcast all one word. Mm-hmm. Um, IG, YouTube, Spotify, Apple. We we everywhere. So man. you say so, you are, y'all y'all on episode sixteen? We we should be dropping sixteen soon. So mm-hmm. I gotta go to work a little later. Drop it. Drop seventeen. So. For sure. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to be consistent Hell like yeah. you, man. Hell for yeah, real, man. Real. I'm trying, dog. I'm trying out here, bro. I'm trying to. I want to one day had a place that niggas gotta be like, oh shit, we got some out. If it's movies, if it's business, if it's rap, they gotta come out. Shit. So before we go, can I can I ask you just like one question? What up? What made you get into the whole podcast media side of it? Like just. Man, I wanted to use this shit because I was a rapper back in the day, back in my day. Shit, I remember bro. you saying that. Shit. <laughs> and then I was seeing him. Doing it for a long time, bro. He was doing it for a long time. They've been doing it shit, since what 2010, 2011. He was oh, doing before it, it was popular. That yeah, shit for popular sure. As hell, nah. So he was doing that shit. And nigga, low key, I was loving this shit without even knowing. Cause like every time I'm on YouTube watching interviews all the time, it started from the Breakfast Club when they first started doing that shit. And then it went to Sway, then it went to Tech Stone, then it went to Drink Champs. Then just start going shows. like the random people, like uh, real idiots and shit. Every, like, everybody. But it'd be the most random people that get like 20,000, 50,000 yeah. likes. And I'm like, it's not about the likes, though. For sure. Like, no, I, ain't. I'd rather get on this shit every week on the mic for sure. and post it out and then like 
God forbid some tragic shit happen to me. Yeah. My kids can go back that, and no, look at this I said shit that shit, like, bro. They can always nigga get some jokes out of there or anything, dog. Some, at least get to know me a little bit. For sure. Like, don't show them it now. But when they get a baby, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, look. Like this nigga was a fool. This, this is what your daddy was doing when he was going to work. For sure. Like, but no, I wanted to I wanted the podcast to be a way to um meet artists and get my music and maybe we work together. But then Shit, I start liking that shit more than music. I'm like, bro, this shit way better. You meeting different people, and now I'm not even just talking to rap dudes. I'm talking to actors, actresses. Don't ask me to rap. (laughs) I'm I'm talking to coaches. I'm talking to ex athletes. Like it just became a thing of its own and shit. Yeah, we did. It's the new news analyst though. For sure, everybody not built for it, bro. So I'm I'm really happy you found your lane though, because you definitely one of the niggas. I feel like, dog. And when I was seeing people in the city. I hate listening to podcasts that sound like mm-hmm, too red. Like, so how are like? It's just mm-hmm, like mm-hmm, you gonna mm-hmm. ask the regular questions. I want to know. Okay, of course I want to know what you do, but I want to know shit outside of that. I want to not even outside of it, nigga. I'd rather know like this shit. Like, for sure, you, yeah. Bro, don't don't tell me. Don't prompt me with no questions. For nigga. sure, we yeah. ain't in like the media, media. Oh, nigga, I ain't had I'm niggas like, like that. Like, can you send me some questions? No, nah, bro. One nigga asked, he sent me questions to ask him. Hey. <laughs> like, I'm like nigga, uh, yeah, I'll call you back, cuz I take it into consideration. Let me let me holler at you. Yeah, bro. like no dog, name? no dog. Nah, like bro, this one R B singer <laughs> said he didn't want to talk about chicks. I'm like, well, you're an RB singer that's, that's your making audience. music for chicks. And it was around Valentine's Day, so I had like little funny stories, little funny topics. I mean, and I'm like, all right, well, that take away 40 minutes. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Because you could have came up with all type of shit though, off of Valentine's right. Day and being an RB singer. Nigga yeah, that's just some great land. I had a nigga mid mid his manager mid conversation. The nigga said he was adopted, bro. So bam, I want to know. Like he said, he didn't find out till he got older. How did you feel? Nigga, and knowing that these parents ain't your parents. I'd like, be like, don't come on a podcast if you ain't ready. To my talk, man behind bro. nigga. Don't do that. Did, he sent me a text message. He said, Don't ask that. What? So now me not trying to be visu- visually frustrated on camera. Mm. Gotta switch it up. <laughs> but that, that, that's how I knew I'm like, all right, I'm getting good at this because like the old me would be like, oh man, fuck this. I'm good. Over. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But now we in front of people, so now I gotta be all right, bet. All right, let's go ahead and just pivot and shit. Just start. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. Because yeah. that could be a great conversation. A nigga could have been watching that shit who just found out they was adopted and could have learned a little something. Like you, you never know who who this shit gonna help. Cause I was watching something, it was like <clears throat> I have no idea whom. This person is, but Tyler, Tyler the creator found one of his like hot artists. Yeah, he was like the video had six views. Mm-hmm. Never know who's gonna see that for shit sure. or who need to see that shit. And we're not talking about um, current events, so you can always go back and watch it whenever. So if, this interview might do sixteen, and then you take off, I take off, and then next thing you know, a bitch got a hundred thousand views or likes or whatever. So you just you never, never know, know, bro. Yeah, I yeah. say just do it. See what like it's not always about the money. Mm-hmm. It's not always about trying to go viral and shit. For sure, because yeah. Who don't yeah. like when they shit get yeah, yeah. a whole lot of likes? But yeah, I mean, sure. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not about that. Because yeah. do that shit really matter? No, for sure. But yeah, if yeah. you, like, I like when I get a message in my inbox, some shit, like, I really appreciate you standing up and saying, no, like, sure. certain shit Hell and yeah. not being scared. I'm like, I don't, yeah, well, yeah. I don't give a fuck. And that's how I feel. <laughs> but you're, you're welcome. Like, you know, that's not what I do it for, but cool. No, for sure. Like, that shit feel good. For so sure. Because like, I be watching <laughs> some podcasts, and you know, I'm, a, I'm a podcast here sometimes. And I'll be mm-hmm. calling him like, Dog, did you see that bullshit? Like, nigga, they, they love it. Like, they <laughs> like, love it. So that's why I always talk shit. I know people like who be like, oh, this nigga, who the fuck you think he is calling himself the podcast MVP? I mean, just self proclaimed, though, you know what I'm saying? Podcast MVP. I mean, are they really putting one out a week? Yeah, some some are, are some ain't, right? mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you know what I'm are they really doing their homework? No, hell no. If they, but my thing is, if they feel some type of way about that, yeah. then it must, yeah, it yeah. must press some button. Yeah, just like Ti, nigga, yeah. we Ti calls himself the king of self, the king, bitch. Yeah, yeah nigga, king. I'm always say that shit, nigga. Like, you know, that's just what it is, that's bro. My son, middle name, so king. I be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but how much pressure that is when you name somebody like King or her last name? Okay, yeah, because yeah, I, I know there's one boy named King, so now you can't even be on no bullshit in life. <laughs> like, your first name King, nigga, like, I know a couple like first name King. Oh, your first name, like, one boy will play on our team, his name Truth. Like, nigga, you, you can't be a spoiler, <laughs> like, you, like, you, like, you gotta be out there balling, boy. Your like, name that's is, your nickname, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, Truth, nigga, like, you gotta be out there hooping, like, or don't play sports. If you mediocre, you can't play sports with the name Truth. Mm-mm. Yeah, Mm-mm. you know what I'm saying? Like you, you set your kid up for fucking failure. For sure. Yeah. Like, like that's why my kid is well, Rashad is a black name. 
<laughs> so he, but like my my son named Aiden, my daughter named Riley. Like you can be, like, oh, is they black or white? Yeah, you yep. know what I'm saying. Last nope. name Sterling, so you don't, you know, shit, it might be white person coming that bitch. Oh, hey, nigga, <laughs> Solomon McCrary. Oh yeah, that should sound white. Yeah, but prestigious. For sure. Like, yeah. It's like it's like, hmm, what that nigga do? <laughs> 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 Hell yeah! Shout out to everybody with them. decent as fuck. Hell yeah, dog! Shout out to the people you fucking their kids that with them crazy names, dog. shot Yeah, yeah, that's just just crazy. He had to be a football player. Like you gotta be famous, nigga. With the name Debrickashaw, nigga. Like <laughs> now, and dog. Rest in peace to the old names that are never gonna come back, like Earls and motherfucking like those Mar- names. Maryland, Mar- 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 Mary, motherfucking um, Francis, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Frank. Like those names that you ain't gonna have a nah, baby Frank. I know. He was I a know fr- some six year old Franks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't hold my baby. Like, what's his name? Earl. <laughs> well, Frank. Uh, well, he showed a little like an Earl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, they got, they got a pack of squares already and shit. They gave a walk. <laughs> but, dog, uh, dog, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. Good conversation. Oh, yeah, of course, you know bro. what I'm saying? So it was a pleasure to have you on this yeah, motherfucker, dog. Honor, bro. Make sure y'all follow my dog, Dank Dad313. Get with him, get some merch. Get some fat boy towels and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Learn about some cannabis. Yep, learn about some motherfucking marijuana in this bitch, dog, and and blow and shit, man. But until next time, man, shout out Richard A. Bike Podcast, Voice of Detroit, Podcast MVP, and no competition. If it is, I don't see it, man. We out. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy Rich A. Bike Podcast.